Okay, okay, okay. I know that we were just live and we had a crash, so I'm going to make the intro real quick, all right? I don't want it to take forever because of the crash. <clears throat> I had to eat a candy bar. I had to eat a... Oh, my freaking lighting. I had to eat... <laughs> I had to eat a candy bar to get some energy, so I decided to go back and watch the very beginning of my last stream. And I did. And the very beginning of my last stream is absolutely on point. I tell you what is uh, going to be my opinion. I draw the line between what we know and what my opinion is so that nobody can sit and complain and say that I'm giving out misinformation and all this garbage. I went back and checked. We were told by the person that Katie was giving information to, combined with the tweets she put out, that there were multiple granted today. There was one granted today. That's it. That's the only bit of information that could even possibly be different. Rewind, listen to it, and then make your opinion and let me know if you disagree. Because I told you, I drew the line of where I was going to give my opinion and where I uh, was telling you the information. We are 100% <clears throat> on point. Which, if you don't know why I'm saying that, it's because after I started to do my stream, Katie started to say that I was doing all this crazy stuff and I'm not going to try to hold it against her um, right now. I will handle anything that happened tonight after I have a chance to look at it tomorrow, think about it, and then upload to my channel. Navy, I unmuted you. How are you? You back with us? Oh, yeah. Oh, doing good. Okay, great, great. So I just want to make sure that's like completely um, out there. It's completely front and center. Let me fix this and let me fix this right here. Perfect. Okay, that has to go there and we're good. 100% straight up, me telling you that there were ROs filed. Here's what you got to ask yourself because she said something about I was giving out the information. I did not. That information, after she posted it on Twitter to 9,000 of her Twitter followers, um, behind her lock, which means the, only the people that, that, that are following her and that she's following can see what she posts. Behind that lock, when she posted it, it immediately fired out across the internet. Everybody in Steve's camp, everybody in the EKC, the Entitled Karen Cult camp, everybody on my side, everybody. I even had like Nate the lawyer coming over to talk and everybody's like, what the fuck's going on? Because he's following Katie. So he came in telling us what was up and what he saw and what we were... So, you, we got to make a decision. Either we're going to talk about what's going on in the community today, like we do anytime I go live when something's happening, or we're not. That's one. That's either how it's going to roll, one or the other. And I need my viewer count because it went off again. And I just find it nuts so that everybody's constantly shit talking me, <laughs> but then when when it comes time to actually look at what happened. I don't see how I did anything fucking wrong at all. I I mean, shit, go to my scope before this. Go to this video. The last video I did, go to this video. I don't fucking get it. Call me out. Make a video. Do your thing. I'm going to do my stream like I had it planned. Here we go. So, Navy, we left off. And let me fix that. We left off here discussing the information that has been it's just too late. We aren't the ones that released it. It's public. It's fired out there. Everybody's got it that she filed ROs today. Now, the details on how many are filed and how many have been granted are... No, they're not known. Right? We only have those tidbits of what we were told. And so, what we were going to do, Navy... Because no one has that information as it sits, is asks ourselves if a certain person is likely to get an RO, 
or if a certain person isn't, discuss the reasons why as we go through the people. You get me? That was going to be my kind of like what we rolled into next when we got disconnected. By the way, I just want the stream to know we are trying extreme measures to fix the crashing on my PC. And we've even gone as far as to change the way that my PC uses my graphics cards. So we're going to keep moving forward until we get the crashing fixed. But just until then, the only the only thing it's going to affect is our long live streams. So it'll be okay. No big deal. So let's get started, Navy. Of course, the one on everybody's mind is the Silverfish. And there are people out there who hold the opinion that he will get an RO. There are people out there that hold the opinion that he won't get an RO. Everybody out there knows that it is my opinion that he is behind a large majority of the harassment that Katie receives due to the way that he deceptively and purposely in, uh, manipulates the people around him and sends them to do things. He's asked people to dox her. He's, he's defended people for doxing her. He's constantly minimizing these things that have happened to her. So my point is, well, I'm sorry, Lauren. Um, I got to be able to, hey, I'll go to the chat. I love you, Lauren, but I think I'm going to just wait a little bit and let things simmer down before we move into um, the live chat, just so me and Navy have a chance to talk. I love you, though. That's not nothing to you, because I know you're relaying the message. So don't get mad at me for saying that, because I love you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't break my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> so let's go through each of the possible candidates as we see it. As I said in my last stream, the only information we know, I'll just take out the granted part since there's contention on the granted part, is that multiple ROs were filed. We know that much. My go-between between KJP and I, who just happens to be named Tina, ironically... Wow, there's multiple people named Tina in the world. I can't believe it. Um, but the that the, uh, she is the one who I guess messed up. Re either she's checked her DMs, either she read it wrong or Katie sent it to her wrong, and I really don't care to have her examine it further to figure it out. So let's talk about whether or not Silverfish will get an RO or not, and menace others if you'd like to jump in you're more than welcome to ethan can't be here tonight because he's got to be up early so you can't hang or i think he would be hanging so let get us started navy what do you think about silverfish and the probability of him having or getting an ro in this new bout of them um what's your opinion what like your personal opinion whether he should or shouldn't and whether he will or won't well honestly i tell you the truth he's already had one uh, put against him and he has uh, since the NDA got lifted has done the same stuff now we found out he's done even worse shit as the way it looks and um, so if I had to hypothetically speak about this I would say yes he would deserve he would definitely would deserve oh no I'm I'm in agreement, agreement with you I think he does deserve it I've thought that going back to the first one I honestly think that he I think civil so there's discussion whether, and this is not coming, none of this is coming from Katie. I was very strict to say this earlier, and I'm very strict to say it now. There we go. Um, in my opinion, he being the main kind of leader, making all the groups, getting everybody organized, and exhibiting that all that behavior we saw out of him that was just anti or non-criticism, but just like judging her and convincing right going into teen mom groups asking people if they watched her and then sitting there and like trying to convince people that she's fucked or something like that's crazy i do think not because of those reasons but because of the other things that happen in the original ro yeah i do think that she i would what i'm saying is i would if i was in her position and I didn't accuse him of anything. Or, or I'm sure the motherfucker would be trying to play games with me like that, right? But there are people out there that say she may do something more than an RO with him. What in the world could that even be, Navy? A lawsuit? 
I, I think there could be a plethora of things. The problem is we just don't have enough information and until they're ready to release it. It's going to be kind of hard. We can all we can do is speculate, obviously. That's so yeah, there's things, so, like, yeah. there's things like lawsuits. There's things that you know. Um, I mean, it just, it just depends. It depends on on what her and her lawyer have decided on the game. I don't know if it's. I know that there's like only several possibilities I can think of. You've got the RO, which states that this guy's constantly either cyber stalking harassing doing things he shouldn't do to engage with her and she wants it to stop then you've got civil suits which say you've done some type of monetary damage to me i want it compensated i want the money repaid so i'm going to do a civil that really that's all the civil suits do right they're all just about money correct as far as i know like once again i'm not a lawyer but yeah the civil aspect is usually for from what i understand from what i've heard from other civil lawyers is that it's like for damages and things of that nature and that's why you go civil is to get you know monetary uh compensation we saw with oj and what happened with him after the trial was over they hit him up with a civil suit because they basically just want to take all his money from him. and, and that's, of course, yeah, that's civil suits yeah. are, like the evidence for a civil suit is a lot easier than of course a criminal suit. well and that's the point i think that a civil suit results in money like i don't think it can result in much else Maybe it could result in an agreement happening between the two people, but that's just another NDA. And I think that the lesson that we've all learned is he doesn't keep his word. He has no care to be honest, to represent the past correctly, or keep his word on anything. So how do you enter into an agreement with someone like that? You legitly can't. What about uh, the only other option is criminal? You've only got RO, criminal, and civil. I think those are the only options that are available to somebody, right? Uh, yeah, as far as I understand, once again, like I said, not a legal person, but that seems to be the the uh, avenues that are available. So, um, like I said, it would just have to depend on, on what their their game plan is. But um, I think definitely something is being is needs to be done. And it sounds like. It sounds like Katie is, is doing what she has to do to stop this from happening, so um, go for it. I don't know, man. Something weird's going on again. You know, with that last, the first RO, you know that um, I was very vocal to let people know that my um, recommendation, because I was talking to Katie back then, was that it was a, a really horrible idea to offer an NDA, right? To get to accept it, to go with it, whatever the hell... You'd say, it's just horrible. You're just saying that you must trust him to to not do, do stuff to you just in the background. And, and the reason why I said that's not, you know, likely, it can't be likely, is because he'd already been doing so much in the background that we knew about that had leaked out. You remember there, were, there was this thing called the Boomy Leaks back then. There was uh, the Facebook group leaking back then. Every, it was almost like everything he tried to do in the background leaked out into the foreground, and it was fucked. In the background, that's where we found out he was talking like that. Thine KJP is the morally repugnant blah, 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 face of evil, and you must unite to do the right thing against the blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, cult, the cult talking uh, is where the boomy leaks and that came from the boomy leaks and the Facebook leaks. So, yeah. seeing as all that happens behind the scenes, you, you can't enter in. The first NDA is why we're here. Because it happened, it extended it a year out. All that happened was he became more confident, more cocky, and more liary while in, sitting in the background. And now that he doesn't have to sit in the background, now he's trying to now, you know, or he's rebuilding this empire that he that he lost with the NDA from beforehand. So, how does that not take away the civil option? Because the civil option, there's no money to be made from him. He can only make money by talking about Katie. So, if let's pretend he had some type of civil action done against him, they determine if you keep talking about her, it's going to be an RO, it's going to be criminal. So, he stops... And she gets a judgment for fifty thou, forty thou. I don't know. How's he going to make the money if you can't talk about her? He's not. <laughs> There's nothing else he can do at that point. And could you imagine if you already know what this man does when he's got a lawsuit, right? We watched it, and 
he just puts out every single iota of detail that he can about it. He'll take one little thing and make it a four-hour stream on it, and then he'll come back, and the next little thing that's already there becomes the next three-hour stream, and every little bit of information is stretched and pulled and stretched until he's got two years of non-sequitur show videos, right? If you go back and watch him, you're going to fall yep. asleep. They're going to bore the fuck out of you. It's like my long rambling streams. They're better replays than that shit. And there was content there. There was a lawsuit to base from, right? So anyway. Oh, yeah. Yep. I guess my point is I, I can't see how a, a person, and I don't give a shit. Let's just take her out of it. If she's going to get mad about us talking about her, then let's do it like this. Let's say another person in her exact same situation. I don't see how they come to any conclusion other than filing an RO and then pressing forward to your local authorities and saying, I need help because it's never going to stop. The worst well, stuff, not yeah. the criticism. And, and, and But the thing is, like the, the only thing, well, like, I, I see what you're saying, and, and I understand that train of thought 100%. I just don't know from the legal aspect that there are other avenues that can be pursued because of the I don't think there are. Threat. Yeah, um, I would have it. to talk to a lawyer about it and find out exactly what, because there may be options that, that are, are plausible that we are not aware of. Whereas right now, the only thing we can think of is the reinstatement of the RO. So who knows? Who knows what other like legal aspects are available that can maybe do more or different types of, you know, I guess maybe lead more into criminal aspects. I, I, I just don't know. I don't have enough evidence at this time. Well, We've got that out of the way now. We've talked about the possibilities with the silverfish. So let's try to name what are the things that we say the silverfish has done that would lead people to say that something needs to happen. So how would you represent it? The things that he's done that lead us to state she needs to do something because it's getting too bad. Like, what are your things? Well, um, the funny thing is, is that he keeps claiming his free speech right? my free speech but the problem is and from what we well, what it looks like what we're, we're seeing we're able to put together speculation wise is that um he has delved into an aspect of of enticement to entice these people to go out and do this stuff it may not be him directly but him working through a uh, a proxy or you know someone else and that moment in time that you have um pushed somebody to to do an action that you have you know done that you have crossed the line between an action and your free speech, right? And that's one of the things that people don't understand when it comes to the government aspect of, of like the Second Amendment or the First Amendment is that it's free speech up until the point that you um, incite an action. And so we can yes. take that and put it into this aspect too. The moment you start, you know, urging people, edging people to to go out and do things, to go out and, and, and harass somebody, go out and dock somebody or threaten somebody or whatever, your free speech is done. Yeah. Well, that's the problem I've had with this situation. We see him going out there, and when a, when somebody, like, will look at what happened to Charlotte, and not a single word. It's almost like he's acting like she, none of it happened to her for no good reason. And, of course, we know why, because the individual that did it to Charlotte is one of his, you know, cult members. So... They don't even care. They're not even ashamed of it. They're just like, well, why can't I be the cult leader? <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Like, that's what you want with your life? You want to be a cult leader with your life? Haven't you seen what, what, what cult leaders have done? There's no good that comes from this. <laughs> anyway, um, but you look at Charlotte. You can look at, like, somebody pulling up Charlotte's um, personal information and threatening her. I mean, all these people are people who he is either enticing on, egging on, and supporting. He doesn't stop them while they're doing this stuff and say, why are you doing this to Charlotte? Like, you're sitting here harassing her. You're sitting here making Charlotte think you're going to release more information about her and do all this stuff to her literally because she's got an opinion against you now. Instead of being for you, she's now against you. My fuck, Lizard Lord. What? Did you take that? Oh my god. Wow. He took that? 
You've got to be joking. That's crazy, dude. Holy shit. The whole world's on fire. That's amazing. I, I want to use that for like a background. Um, where were we here? You're, the, the thing you said about enticement is real. There's not a single time when he's hanging out around these people where they go too far, where he stops them, speaks out against them, or tries to curb what they're doing in any way. He won't even let people know, like, I don't support this when he's, when he's around people that are actively doing it. So I guess my point is these same problems are happening in this situation, but yet he wants us to believe or, or think that he's not involved in any way. I mean, I'm sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here. Um, but if that's what you're going, if that's what you're going to do is sit and entice this and like reward. I mean, he even rewarded somebody who was doing this shit. Hey, now good. I go behind it. You know what I'm saying? This all just happened in the last week. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe, maybe that's what helps us draw our opinion that he is enticing and he is part of it. Right. Because Navy. Yeah, because it's what it seems like is happening, right? Like they, these people, I mean, yeah. you draw these lines with uh, the Facebook group, who's in the Facebook group, who's involved in what's going on, the things that we've seen that have been dropped about what the, the continued harassment, the things with Nat and everything else. And, you know, all roads lead to Rome. You know what I mean? Well, what would you do if you were watching, if you were in the live chat? And or if you were on the screen and and EK you were like with EKC, God forbid, I know, and and you watched what she was doing to Charlotte, wouldn't you say something? Wouldn't you be like, um, this is fucked up? Yeah. Like, why are you doing this to Charlotte? Like, you would just say something, right? You wouldn't sit and encourage it, right? Would you? No, no, it's fucked. It shouldn't happen to anybody. I don't care who it is. Like, even if you don't like a person or whatever, like going after them the way they've been going after Katie and stuff like that is no. I would never sit on a live stream and watch somebody. You don't do that ever. Because they were just targeting Charlotte. They were just doing it. And he was trying to defend it. And we had a problem with that. And then we say to ourselves, well, if you're going to defend while they're doing it to Charlotte, and you're sitting here having Katie be the target of it while you're... I mean, he wants to act like he's never... He doesn't... Do you notice that in those interviews, he acts like he barely knows who Charlotte is? He knows who the fuck yeah. Charlotte is. He acts like he barely knows. He's barely interacted with Nat. And he doesn't even know who LMN is. I don't buy a single bit of it. So when I see him acting that deceptive, it does make me consider that he's being deceptive on the rest. No, oh, 100%. And the problem is, is that he made a comment earlier about Twitter doesn't forget, right? You can get everything on Twitter. Well, the thing is, yeah. It doesn't forget. It doesn't forget all the shit you said either because you're not deleting. He deletes stuff, but he doesn't delete everything, right? And so he did delete everything he said positive about you, but he doesn't delete other things like his defense. He did that? He deleted everything positive he said about me? I believe it. And from what I heard earlier, yeah, he has gone through and got rid of, of you know, that kind of stuff. And so, but the thing is, like his, like, you know, claims about how he defended certain people and how he didn't do this and didn't do that, still on Twitter. Somebody dropped it in general earlier. They, it, that stuff is still up there. And he, he can't keep up with his own lies anymore, so we can't assume that anything he says is true. Oh, no, and that's one thing he doesn't get. We, we consider his actions and what he's doing to be the tell of what's happening. We don't consider what he tells us is going on as anything unless he's got something to back it up. Unless we have something we can look at and see, then no. I mean, you can't. And, uh, fuck. I was just about to let's move on though because we're going on we're going we want to get to the other people too real quick so we've got cheshire and drunken urinal corn both taking a vacation at the same time here of course i fully believe that they're doing this in response to pending legal action against them and their friends and i don't just mean kjp because i don't know if kjp is gonna hit chesh I assume she should. I mean, I know I would if I was in her position, but I'm not. You know, these guys don't target me the way they target them. They've, they've realized it's not going... Like, the, the majority of the stuff they do to her is to incite a reaction. Any reaction at all that they can get out of her 
these people make money with. And that's why they're they're cycling the instigation towards Kate, uh, Katie. They're trying to instigate. So let's say that tonight nothing happens. What are they going to do on stream? If, if Let's say Katie just stopped for a week, did her own content, nothing else, didn't touch any other social medias. These people would starve. They were all... You, like, we watched... We watched some of their live streams, you know, some of his live streaming captains where he would have all of his bullshit. Like, here's another thing. I, I mean, fuck, we're going to have to jump back to him. Another main reason why we factually know he incites these people is because he was dictating what was going on Little Red's stuff. And I don't know why if Little Red's trying to, like, get people to trust her, why she doesn't come out and tell the truth about what really happened. And how far it went with Steve telling her what to do. When he got angry at me or someone else, Little Red had nothing to do with it. She wasn't involved. But every single time that Steve was angry, he would have it over on her channel. It would be happening on her channel, right? And same with all the oh, other yeah. people he was angry at. Little Red's content was dictated by Steve. Fact. Then, when Little Red became... You know, either either she moved away from it, she started to stop, she didn't want to do it anymore... All of a sudden, now he's employed EKC. Now EKC is what Little Red was to an absolute 100% degree for him. So, how do you say you're not inciting Little Red and you're not inciting EKC when they are doing these things, fighting your battles and going and doing this stuff for you? Um, you're in their chat. Mm, the daily happenings that you're mad about, go there. Hmm... <laughs> You know, I hate saying it. When people say that Tina is his right hand, it's because of his own actions. It's what he's put out into the public space for two years or a year and a half at least, right? Oh, yeah. No. And the, the, the problem is he, he betrays himself when he says this stuff. He talks about how he talks to her all the time and she's involved in this stuff. And he admits that he talks to her regularly. So don't tell us that you don't have nothing to do with this. Like you have no idea who these people are because the person who you talk to regularly is directly involved with these people. Well, they insult our intelligence constantly. They know they they think that we're so dumb that that we we see we find out that Tina has convinced Nat that they are best friends, and we see Nat delivering an absolutely false testimony. With her connections to the narrative that, that they want to have happen in the lawsuit. The narrative that was injected to Nat is the narrative that these people, this specific EKC, the Entitled Karen cult, wanted, right? And that's what they wanted injected. That's what they wanted to have happen in the lawsuit. That was their goal. I mean, if, if you'd go, go up to Steb... EKC, any of these people, Chesh, and say, what would you like to have happen with the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit? We want Katie to be the hacker. We want Salty to get Katie. We want her to channel deleted. We want the da, da 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 Every little bit of the narrative that they were putting into Nat was their preferred outcome, okay? They want Katie to be the thing that they showed her as in these DMs. And when we find out that the only people who have access to Nat are Element and Tina, and they're injecting the narrative into Nat. We know this. We've got Nat and LMN both dumping their stuff over. Why? Because they got busted. They got found out. They got in trouble. In order to not get in trouble in the official way, they're saying, no, 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 no. We're going to give you everything we got. We're going to cooperate fully. We're going to give you access. We're going to give you our passwords. And you can have our accounts. Take them. Please get them. Download it all. Have it all. Saltsy does it. He grabs it. How does anybody, and I mean this from the bottom of my fucking soul, how does anybody believe that they did this on their own? So they went, they didn't mention that they were doing this to Nat and their group of friends that they're around every day, that they do everything with, that they don't make decisions on their own ever. And we're supposed to believe that they went and did this to Nat on their own and that Chesh and Steve and the rest of them had no idea. Come the fuck on, man. Somebody yeah, convince me. Somebody convince me how I can get my brain to that place if you want it there. Because I can't. Not with the evidence we've got.
Well, and the thing is, what they do, what what um, Stub and, and Trish and them do, is that they go out looking for these people, right? That already have a quote unquote like beef with Katie. They don't like her already, and they insert themselves into this group, and then they take over. We've seen it happen with you know how many times have we talked about what Stevens. So, oh goodness. They in, they infiltrate and then they they take over and then they start leading them is what it looks like, right? And yeah. like, oh well, this is what you should do, and they just they kind of feed on what's already there, and it's another aspect of the manipulative bullshit that they like to pull with people to get them to go after the people they don't like. I just don't understand how this group doesn't own that they're haters, that they're drinking hater aid. That their motivation is but hurt <laughs> because man the way that you prove that that's not the case is to commentate is to give your opinion hone in on the things that people have in their mind out there and bring them up and ration them out with the people in the audience that are thinking this stuff and commentate like we are doing right now I, I, I would love to have, and I've asked people for this many times, like, give me some streams where these people, this group of people have done what I'm talking about. Not got up there and been all pissed off, not got up there and just railed and ranted and talked shit and all this stuff. No, actually commentated through, explained what's up, gave a good breakdown, gave good opinions, gave good backups to why they think what they think, you know, like the carry you to exactly why they have their mindset. And I still don't have a clip of that. I still would like to have that clip. It would actually help me immensely. Because I'd like to analyze how these guys do their content, build what they do, think what they think. With what they give us, it's almost like they don't give us that. It's like they give us what they're mad at. They give us what they say, yo, we're the smartest, bestest people ever, so we know it's wrong, so now we can just sit and just, you know, <laughs> rail about it or some shit, like, I don't know, man. Where who'd we hit? We hit Steb. We started to talk about um, the Nat and Tina and LMN thing. So let's talk about a possible recipient of an RO would be Tina. Um, now I don't really know what is out there from Tina beyond the threats, the doxing, and a lot of that really nasty cyber stalking and shit talk that came out of her. Right. Is that the only way to describe what Tina's done? I, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, correct me too, but I think, isn't Tina the one that says, like, she spends all her time just recording every single thing, every single thing that Katie does, right? Yeah, yeah. And she's been doing that for, like, a year and a half now. She says from wake up to sleep, she's had to take breaks because she spends so much of her day doing nothing but analyzing KJP that she has to take mental wellness breaks doing it. Like, that was her, yes. So, yeah, that would be the one, that would be the thing to really get her on, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I think that's, it's gone into, uh, that one has gone into an obsession. So, he's getting, number one, they're obsessed, right? And this obsession is getting dangerous. Because based on what we heard, from what these people are talking about, and the things that they say, like the threats that they make, right? Or these, these comments that they make about threatening stuff. It's, it, this obsession has turned dark and dangerous, like super dangerous. Yeah, dude. I'm with you. I'm with you. So they would get her for like kind of advanced cyber stalking and uh, harassment if they did. Chesh, and making I don't even. Yeah. And making threats. Now, Chesh, I don't even have to go over Chesh. Chesh is one of the most just insane trolls that exist on the internet. She's already in a shit ton of trouble herself with people that are completely unrelated to any of this. Um, in so much trouble, she tried to hire Saltsy as her lawyer and got a conflict of interest due to his case with, uh, with, um, uh, Toddy. So, I mean, that tells you how serious of a case it is when they want to hire an attorney who is that good and that expensive and they're willing to do that. <clears throat> but, Chesh is the type to just get on stream and accuse somebody of just, you know, Anything she can pull out. So she's just a straight up, no way around it, troll. So we'll just move on from her because the other ones are are LMN. And I think that's it, right? At least for, for, for my theory would be LMN. Right, right. And, LMN and Dustin and her, uh, husband and her boyfriend. Like the two people in that recording. 
Now that's just, we don't even have to bring them up either. So the really the only people that you have a question is, is with Tina, Shesh, and Steb. So to, to rail it down with the RO situation, like she files on those other two, it's Insta. That, that recording and everything that happened, Insta. When they've got her saying, I'm going to kill her, and I'm not using hyperbole, I'm not saying it as an expression. I mean it, which is what she said. Uh, yeah, I think that that's enough for someone to be like, okay, we going to throw a RO right here just to keep someone safe, right? The oh, boyfriend doing what he did family. too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Especially like um, I said, when the family aspect comes in because it's much more than like, and I'm not, no one should ever be treated this way. There should never be something that happens to anybody, regardless of how you feel about them. Like you've said a thousand times, if you don't like somebody on YouTube, then make videos and criticize. And then keep yeah. criticizing all day long. Yeah. Make your well, channel. When new the, things the, the, happen. When Yeah, criticize current events. Yeah. Well, and even if they decide to criticize the same stuff over and over again, if that's their their shtick, you're still just criticizing. Right? You may have you may be played out content but you can still criticize all day long right make your make your channel like you know katie criticism channel whatever and just have yeah. a field day criticizing everything but the moment it steps over into the aspect that you actually like hate this person and it's not that they know each other it's not that they talk to each other and they had like a beef in real life this is internet this is the most ridiculous avenue to get so upset that you're threatening someone's life no man i'm with you so what we've got now is we've got these specific people that are my pick of the litter for people that that if it was if I was in that situation it's what I would do. And there are people out there who say that she might take more strict routes with Steb because Steb is the top. He's at the top of the damn food chain. Oh shit, I forgot y'all. Shit. We are testing a new streaming method with this stream to try to to try to improve um our stream okay to try to make it run better less crashes and i know it didn't the, well, the method we're using didn't work that well right because it did crash though let's see here all right we're doing good what we've done is we've separated my graphics cards uh i don't know if like bcp Menace, anybody wants to jump into to game a little bit while we talk, but we're going to start because it's getting late. Um, we're, we're using one of my graphics cards to run the game and to run the computer, and we're using my other graphics card to just run OBS Studio. What we were doing was splitting the load a little bit and using graphics card zero as the main one to put the, the, the stuff out to the main extent, right? So um, that's kind of flip-flopped around a little bit now. So if, if the stream ends up being laggy or anything, I'm sorry. This is a test setup. And we were going to jump into... Uh, we were going to jump into games a lot earlier tonight, but it didn't happen. One, because we crashed, and then two, because of the drama that happened. So we're going to go ahead and start gaming now. Uh, but... We're still going to talk about this because I hope Menace or, or BCP or someone will come in because they were saying, there was someone that said that their opinion was a little different about Steve, and I want to know why. So maybe we'll get lucky, but I don't understand a, and maybe you'll help me, Navy, I don't understand a scenario where she doesn't put an RO on this tight-knit group. Um, EKC, did we forget EKC? Oh, we did. Okay, that's the one we forgot to name. EKC, in my opinion, all Katie's got to do to get it on her is file it. And the reason is, is because EKC uh, fucking pulled that R report like she did. Yep. And that's, I think that's like the fucking, you know, you just insta get it there. That's the same as those other people. Like, you're getting that RO. Well, and the thing was, is, and we talked about this before, is that the only reason to pull it the way she did and talk about it the way she did was to instigate people going out and calling Katie a liar, right? Yeah. That she lied about all this stuff. That was the only reason. It wasn't to help victims. It wasn't to make sure people had a voice or, or you know, uh, show support or anything. It was straight up to victim shame her and call her out, and it's, it's despicable bullshit. 
Oh yeah, dude. I still um and, Oh go ahead, sorry. No, I was just gonna say man, if that's not harassment, I don't know I don't know what it is, but then again I'm a lawyer, so Well I do think it's I think there's a motivation behind everything these people do. And I think that when when you look at like um when I hear certain other channels talk, like let's use drama and opinions as an example. Drama and opinions drops uh her opinion and hooks people up with exactly what she thinks is going what what she sees what's there and then tells you exactly what uh her opinion is on what happened and to me i don't see any of these people doing that from his side i see them doing the exact opposite which is injecting a narrative if, if you were to go up to them and say hey this just happened they'd say well she's lying and all this that, that'd be their response just straight Straight up. Oh, well, she yeah. has to be lying then. There is no like, well, let's see if she's lying or not and look at what's there. It's just, nope, she's lying. That, that's what they'll, that's where they'll go. So, well, uh, what no, yeah, go ahead. Well, all they're doing is they're, they're trying to pull on um, people's emotions. Like, and this is what this group does, like all throughout, right? They go out there with no evidence and they pull on emotions, get people riled up get people hot and bothered and pissed off and you know well, she's doing this and she's doing that blah blah, blah. and there's they people get so blinded by their own emotion or their hatred right of this person who is on the internet that they don't care about it they don't care about it and that is what causes all this to happen because i don't know i don't know if these people just have nothing else to do in their lives but they are um <laughs> sorry i'm just reading uh bcp's uh comment that i'm really from, I'm really a Yankee in the max in this way. I love it. Where is he? Where's BCP? I want to. I'm doing a fact attack. Factory attack tree right now. I need peepsies. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay right here until until I get BCP, or Darth Chaz, or Trio, or Menace, or somebody. I'm just sitting right here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think you to bed. Here's my deal, right? I don't see how that uh after watching the videos those that video is just one video there's also a video of tina that we haven't even seen yet that is like eight minutes of tina doing this doing similar things to nat right and and i have another thing that shows all of tina's dms not all but the dms that she had related to some, like, part of this right and Bruh. we're gonna go in I'm doing it on my own. And um I guess the, the the part the thing to me is I don't see I I don't see how Tina or any of them how I don't know how any of their supporters go, wait a minute, so you got uh, Tina, you have been sitting here behind the scenes talking to Nat this whole time and you never mentioned it on a stream. You never told anybody, you never explained why, but yet you just expect everybody to go, eh. It's okay. There's no ill will there. Nothing wrong there. Well, it's not even that. Is that they don't? It's not even that they say there's nothing wrong there. Is that they justify it happening? Like it needs to happen. They have such a hatred for somebody that they they not only do they agree with it and, and are like, yeah, it's okay, but they go out and say, well, it needs to happen because of this reason, this reason, this reason. And it's, it's crazy how they uh, try to justify their actions. How they justify what they do. We watched it with you know Trash Goblin. They're not trying to justify. Calling KJ, calling Katie a liar, right? I mean, oh, it, did you see that she was calling Katie a slut today? <laughs> like, I'm not playing, straight up calling her a slut. What the fuck is wrong with you, God? No, like seriously, I was thinking, like, how does Chesh do that? After the things that she said and stuff, it's like I don't care that live your life, be you. But how do you call like a married woman that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And then there was another one of. uh Steb supporters that said something to Exiled on Twitter or something. So Exiled responded like, no, this is how you pronounce my name. And they responded and said, okay, you skank. Just because they were exactly. they were in the cult and because they don't like Exiled's opinion. And this is why we call them a cult. They demonize you based on if your opinion is something they don't like. 
That's what a cult does. And they build a body of enemies that are based upon their, their opinions. Whereas they sit and say all opinions are sacred. Everybody's opinion is, is, uh, is a thing that we should all respect. That's coming from them. That's their, that's their little, like, thing. But yet, they hate this group of people due to, due to the fact... You watch Uni... Oh, you already know. If you watch me, you just immediately... If you talk in my live chat and you hang out here, you're just immediately a horrible person. Is there new tweets? Oh, get, hey, somebody get me tweet... Uh, the, the, oh, shit. Uh, ah! Ah! Somebody get the tweets. No, I'm gonna die! Into uh, General for me. I, got, I guess we got new tweets. Uh, BCP says he'll be in after this run. That he was loading in tweets, though. Fucking A, BCP. That's what I'm talking about. Boy, I need help. Listen to this. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Watch me just die right now. This is going to be a quick run, y'all. Just be ready. This is going to be a quick run. Well, now, you, you got to remember something about them. Everyone's opinion matters as long as you're not blocked. Their channel, their Twitter, their IG. Yeah. Come on, well, the thing is that dollars. somebody, let's say for example, like uh, well, Exile was brought up earlier, right? If the same thing had been the opposite end, and it was Chesh or Manya or one of those, right? AKC, whoever, right? And Exile had come out and called them a slut or something of that nature, they would be on it, like you know, victim shaming. What are you doing? How dare you question yeah. someone's like sexual, personal activities? What, what know, they say? Blah, blah. They would. They'd say it's um lifestyle shaming or something or whatever it is they always say yeah and they do this they come on there it's, it drives me fucking insane they come on there and they say you know uh well they're they're a liar because of this business but we're here for the victims no oh no, they're, they're trolls they're fucking trolls bro they're not here for any victims they're here to victimize fuck i can't close that door yeah, i'm just gonna sit at this <laughs> desk I'm just going to sit at this desk and talk to you, Navy, and hopefully we don't get killed. Okay. This uh, is going to be fun. Said I was, Shala says yeah. I was attacked in someone's chat and was accused of being a uni mod. And that's exactly what happened. That's yeah. Exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. They the, the reason they act like this is because they are culted out, y'all. That is not how normal people act. They don't give a shit if you hang out on a channel and talk in a live chat. They care about hearing your opinion representing theirs the reason this group fuck the reason why Yay! the reason why this group immediately demonizes you guys is because they know they're wrong <laughs> they know they shouldn't be acting like that they know that they are acting in a wrong manner in this no 100 percent. and then they they try to the like I said, they try to develop this delusion for their uh, little simps that er <coughs> excuse me, everything they do is correct. And like they, 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 you know, the funny thing is, for being these these atheistic type people, they really act like their word is the word of God, and should oh, be yeah. treated as if it came from, as if they are the Almighty, and everything they say is is gospel, right? And it just I, it, it baffles the mind and pisses. Me. Well, they're trolls. They're just trolling, and they everybody recognizes it. Everybody on YouTube looks at what they do, and they consider them a hater group. And, I mean, they can say they're whatever they want to say. They are a hater group. You can't click on their streams and hear what we do and hear how we do it. You're, you're going to hear them just literally hating, right? And the thing is, like, yeah, I get that they're the aspect of, like, trolling or whatnot, but I think they honestly believe, whereas for me, the understanding of what a troll is, is someone who is, you know, going against you or arguing with you because they're just trying to, you know, incite an argument, right? They actually believe the bullshit they speak. Bro, he's going nuts. He just said, tomorrow begins a new chapter in my life. One that is going to potentially be a long road. One that I know I must walk. But one I know I don't have to walk alone. Heart to all my friends who have always stood by me. By <laughs> Your faith in me will always be shown to be justified. He's a cult leader. He shouldn't have to have faith in you. They only have faith in you because you're a cult leader. Uni was right. Hashtag. And it sounds like he's trying to martyr himself without actually dying. You know what I mean? Oh, I have to walk this road. You know, all this. 
this hardship I have to go through and, you know, um, but I do it for you, right? I do it for you. That's a fucking cult leader says. Why I'm, is I'm he going through all these trials and tribulations. It looks like, yeah, his normal shit. Come on, man, come on in. Come into my my office. Here, let me sit down here at my office. I'm just guarding my office. That's all I'm doing, guarding my office. That, that, we gotta save that one. The one where he says, your faith in me will be justified. Hold on, I gotta read that last part again, because that's the most culty tweet. Your faith in me will always be shown to be justified. So he's saying that tomorrow there's something big happening. So he's playing that game. Playing that game. And that's, and that's what he does, right? Because he gets people to want to go, well, what's going on? What's going on? It's kind of like, oh, I have a meeting with the FBI. I can't tell yeah. you what it's about right now, but I have a meeting with the FBI. Um, the bait and switch. Okay. You know what they call him? They call him uh, Deceive McRape or something like that. <laughs> it's kind of a oh, weird no. name they have for him. You know, for someone who reports to be very uh, agnostic, he does speak in very religious terms to his players, which means he's a cult. the fuck? Dude, did you see that shit? That was fucked up. I don't have a bleed, do I? Oh, I don't need it? Okay. Oh, I am bleeding. Oh, fuck. Put it away, put it away, put it away, put it away, put it away. Somebody literally right outside, dude. I don't care what's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm surrounded. I don't care what they're doing tomorrow, Navy. I'm tired of this. Well, and hopefully, what I hope is that everything happens things are going to come to an actual conclusion with um with all this because it needs to it needs to fucking be done you know? how though he's literally trying to act like he's going to get an ro or he's going to get some kind of action against katie he's he's acting like he's going to get an action against katie that's how deluded he is that is pure fucking delusion you stalk well, a woman because she accuses you of sh and you're gonna do some type of legal action towards her. Really? Seriously? That's life now, is it? Well, the other thing, though, is that you know how, like, you gotta keep telling yourself things, you know, oh, I'm not a shitbag, um, I don't live in the closet, I don't eat crappy lobster rolls from the fucking dollar store, I'm a good person, I'm intelligent. It's this, it's this mantra he has to keep telling himself, and he, the only difference is he does it on Twitter, right? He puts it out there on Twitter for everyone to see that he is, like, He's not talking to anybody on Twitter. He's talking to himself, in my opinion. And he's trying to reassure oh, himself. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not a cringy fucking grease, you know, grease of old man that hits on, you know, anything and everything that comes around me, which we know is true. We've had stories about this happening all since he's been on the internet. And so, but he just has to keep telling himself, no, no, no. See, he looks in the mirror every day, you know, that fucked up little mirror he has and the little tiny mirror he has in his closet. It says, buddy, you are intelligent. No, no, you are. And no, you're not a creature. Women should like to be talking about. And I'm right because if one guy says something and a, a woman's okay with it, I should be entitled to say the same shit. Oh my God, did you see that out on Twitter? Yep. There were like several people pushing that narrative that 
It's okay that Steve said this to Katie. She shouldn't be able to complain because Katie talked sexually to Kyle. But she didn't. They talked about sex. They talked about sex life. They didn't Even sit there did. and fucking tell each other they wanted to fuck each other. Are you telling me? Are you straight up telling me with that tweet that women don't have the right to talk how they, you know, they feel comfortable talking a certain way with somebody? That because of that, they don't have a choice in talking to anyone else that way? Are you fucking That's what they're serious? saying, yes. That's what they're saying. Absolutely. This, the person who said this. abso freaking lutely I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it's just repulsive. It's straight up repulsive. Well, if, if Kyle would have said that, it would have been fucking... You know, every bad thing in the damn book. Yeah, exactly. Lauren, he says, Oh my god. Girlfriend, does that mean the guy at the next table can also make a pass at your girlfriend? Fucking well, no. according to him, yes. No, to him, he would be fine with that, but. Didn't hear acting like I'm shit talking him, but no, that's actually uh, how he acts. It's not shit talking. You know what I'm saying? If you're telling the truth. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Jessica says not unless he wants to get punched. 100% true. Well, yeah, because most women will stand up for themselves and not allow themselves to be talked to that way. Well, I hate to say it, most of the guys are going to probably hear me and be like, oh, excuse me? I guess what like drives me crazy about that whole crew too is how they feel they are entitled to it. and if they are friends with this so-called entitlement oh uh, i know translate entitlement spam you later that they feel so entitled that they get to dictate to other people how they can deal with this stuff in their life right um oh it's public in most places so you're gonna have to deal with it if you talk about it then you you are asking people to scrutinize you right and oh, yo, no, Jessica, you're 100. percent If someone ever said that to uh, if I, my girlfriend or my wife or whatever, um, I don't think I'd, I'd have to say a word. It would just go straight down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But you know, this YouTube guy, be chill. Yeah, hypothetically speaking, if that were to happen. In Minecraft, but no, you're saying if you were out with your girlfriend and somebody disrespected her, yeah, you wouldn't just let him. You wouldn't just let him. I would. I would disagree with it. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, that's fine to say that, but yeah, because we're not talking about specifics, but yeah, um, there, it's just what, how, <laughs> hey, that's it. I'm killing these fools. Watch them just kill me in one shot. That's Starkov. Yikes. He's going to kill me. Fuck! Granada, dude. There's like 20 of these fools. I just need to get out of here. Straight up. What do you do, Navy? What do you do? Not much you can do. I mean, really, all we can do is what we're doing now in the hope that... Uh, yeah, hey, some people think we shouldn't even do it. Some people think yeah, we shouldn't even right. talk about it at all. Well, the problem is it's been an ongoing thing, right? And it's... Uh, I do. I, I get happening. it. Yeah. And the thing is, people want to see justice done. They really want to see actual justice, not what they claim is justice. They want to see actual... These people be held to, to account. 
either that or just stop. They don't even have to have any, like, uh, EKC, Steve, the rest of them. They don't have to have negative things happen to them. Like, they could just fucking agree that they've taken all this too far and they're going to stop. But one of the major problems is that they won't. They won't do that. Well, I mean, like I said before, they have built this delusional world in which they are the, you know, omniscient being of right and wrong. They are the arbiter of everything that is righteous and everything that is, you know, morally upright and, and, and all this kind of stuff. So they, the funny thing is, they always claim, oh yeah, feel free to criticize us, right? The moment you do, they fucking block you because they claim that your criticism is just a troll. Well, so they have built this world up where, you know, if I get criticized, it's only because the person doesn't like me for some person reason, not because what I'm doing is wrong. And it's, it's insanity. It is literal insanity. And that is where these cult aspects come from. Because there was somebody in chat who was like, oh, I don't understand where this cult, you know, narrative is coming from. Then obviously, <laughs> then you're not paying attention never, at all. You haven't paid attention. You never study. Like go on YouTube. Jesus Christ! Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, if you don't understand what we're talking about, go on YouTube. Type in any documentary about any cult server, and then go and look at what their leader does. How the people fall underneath. Like the next thing, it's perfect. That's like it's perfect to watch what happens. You have this this charismatic, you know, quote unquote charismatic leader. that's charismatic to his followers. And then you have the the underling, like the second in charge, and then you have the what I call the simps underneath. Right? Go look at any single cult that happens. You'd be like, oh wow, that verbiage sounds a lot, that sounds really familiar. Well it should. I don't know if you just saw that navy, but it was beautiful beauty in action is what just happened there. Yeah, I did. That was that was Tenjus, you're correct. Others aren't real to them. It's not that they're not real to them. They just don't hold the same position or um, worth, right? And the only be and even even uh, fucking Silverfish said it himself. He was on a live stream talking about what happened after the incest thing started, right? Is that um, oh, I thought all these people who who went with Kyle, like all the fans, were just idiots. Right? He literally said that. He called everyone who. You know, he assumed that all the fans were idiots. And then he was like, well, then they started supporting me. And I realized that they were actually the only people. Are, are you fucking serious? The only people that only people that support you are intelligent? Yeah, come on now. It's a cult, bro. It's not a cult narrative. It's a fucking cult. Dead GPK says, wondering the Uni Rock's thoughts instead of using conspiracy theorists to attack his credibility. It's ridiculous. Attack your credibility. That's what conspiracy theorists do, Dead. And he is a full on conspiracy theorist now. Alright, cross your fingers. Are you joking? Are you joking? I got so many kills that round. Oh my god, where's BCP at? Oh, that was Tagilla! That was Tagilla! <laughs> it was the scav boss. No wonder he killed me. 
Oh my god, bro. 12 fucking kills. 12! 12! 4,000 EXP and killed by Tagilla. I'll take it all day. Oh my god, he had fucking expensive ammo. Should have went the other way. I should have went the other way, man. I shouldn't have stopped. I should have just ran out. I would have had a better chance of running out. There was no way I was going to kill Tagilla. Oh, that run was so good. Wow. 12 kills. 12 kills. Oh, my God. And I got two USBAs. Watch what I can do with these. Watch what I can do here. First music. We've been hearing that song too much. Oh, I want that. Nope. Uh, no. Where's that one really good? Night Out. There it is. Oh, I love that. Okay. Now I can trade. I've been wanting to get a couple of those so I can trade for this. Two of these. Bam. Now when I build my M4s, I'll have the arm. I could build an M4 right now. Let's do it. Bam. Bam. Now I can put the guard on. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. I will be. I will be GF. I will soon. Definitely. Okay, I need a back end. I should have a better back end available by now. Like, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't. You gotta buy this junk. Wait, wait. Does that fit? Oh my god, it fits. That's, that's it. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Looks so good. Alright, let's see here. I need to hit... If I hit this next level... Then... I'm at... I get the flea market. If I just get up one more level, I hit flea market. Can't believe... T well, Tagilla got me, so I'll get my insurance back at least, right? There it is. Look at that M4 or 8R, but look at that bad boy. Oof. Look good. Looks good. That damn Tagilla, bro. He's a murderer. It's just sad, Navy. It's sad that this is where we're at. You ever think it would get here when you first started watching Nonsec? Oh, no, not at all. And the funny thing is, I didn't really watch a lot of it. I just watched the uh, Flutter. Right? Yeah. No, never thought. Never thought. Never thought any of us would be here. It's sad, bro. That's what it is. What makes it even sadder is this all over internet stuff. It's not like your neighbor did something to you or, you know, some kid from high school or something, you know, or college that you grew up with or some coworker. These are people that you never met, that you don't know in real life, that you like, and it's all because of some internet bullshit. It's all fake news, bro. 
a bunch of fake news, but it's geared at a hu <laughs> it's geared at a human being is why it's so bad. It's geared at a fucking human being. I mean, all you have to literally do is unsubscribe and stop watching. That's it. Well, shit, dude. I even encourage them to criticize. I encourage them to fucking criticize. Um, but the problem is, I don't know where their damn criticism is. Like, it's not, it doesn't exist. Sitting there trying to convince people that she lied on her R report. That's not criticism, man. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo, dude. I just had so much of that M8. What did I do with all that M855? There's 30. We have a BCP in the staging room. Thank God. Because I need some company going into this next FAC attack. I need I need an escort. Did you see those 12 kills, BCP? Uh, sort of, kind of. I was only a half. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> <Where there was no laughs> Dude, I'm getting broke, bro. We're going to have to go in here and do something. Need some money, BCP. Damn, wish Menace was in here and Darth Chaz and everybody. Trio went to bed. I said something to Menace, but he never said anything back. He's probably busy. He probably has to be up tomorrow. Well, it shows that he's playing Tarkov, so who knows? Yeah, his kids play too, so. Oh yeah, that's right. He might be in later. We'll cross our fingers. Oh, let me turn Discord up a little bit. At the end of that fight, I had to turn it down a little this bit, but I didn't turn it down much. <laughs> Lauren T says, stay behind you so he doesn't cheat you. That's right. Uh, Dead GPK says we need some more Twitter clips. We do. Those Twitter clips are straight up awesome. Remember that run when we got smoked by the uh, the cheaters? Oh yeah. And it I ended up getting my M700 back minus the muzzle brake. What? The really? Thing. Yeah. All they did was oh. take my muzzle brake. They had they didn't have enough room for all the guns, so they just took parts off. To sell. Yep. Well, let's do this, BCP. Um, I need some ammo, honestly. If I'm gonna go in, that's what I need, real quick. See if I can get 20 of them. Yep. Can I get 10 more of these bad boys? Yep. Love to get 30 more, but I'm gonna have to sell something to do it. Come on, man. Don't lag on me. Huh. I'm sitting I'm sitting at level 19. I got that me last too. night while I was playing. I got 42,000 experience to go to 20. We are very close. With that last round I did, I had 42. So the, after that round I just did... Uh, let's see what I got here. I got 36. Let's do it, BCP. Hell of a run. Oh yeah. Oh, get, hit the, uh, the the aging room or something. Menace is in there. Oh shit, boy! We got this. We got a squad. What's up, Menace? Tequila going down tonight. He better because oh. he just killed me after I got fucking twelve kills. He just took me out. So I'm mad Let's at him. him. I'm ready to kill this guy. He's so, so what do y'all think about up, all the craziness? Bro. That's what I was about to ask. What's that? So what do y'all think, think about all, about all, all this? All this oh insanities. God. The boomage. The boomage. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It is bad.
I think uh, Steve's going to end up getting himself in trouble. I wonder if this this new path that he's taking is a ball gag and <laughs> a ball gag and like permanently crazy gluing some boxing gloves onto his hands or something so he can't type on the <laughs> keyboard anymore. <laughs> what is he talking about? It sounds so... For those of you that have had faith in me and stuck by me, blah, blah, blah. What is he talking about, man? Like, it's get... I'm, I'm in the factory, by the way. We have a squad. Team kill betting is now open. <laughs> Thank you, Sheree. And yes, we do. I, uh... Looking at his pictures lately, he's looking kind of gray. I'm wondering if he's talking, like, maybe he's getting a liver transplant. Oh, something's up. He looks completely different, man. Honestly, I tell you the truth, like, if I had to, like, comment on it, I don't think anything crazy is happening anymore. I think he put that out there because he wants fucking attention because he looked around his little closet and he's like, there's no one here with me. I need someone, I need someone to pay attention to me. So he puts out these cryptic fucking bullshit to bait people into being like, Oh, oh, are you okay? We're here for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Well, he's been saying, I... he's been saying for weeks he's moving. So he's probably just moving, but he wants to make it sound like it's, you know, some big deal. You're probably right. You're probably right. He's uh, like moving. It sounds like he's trying to ascend. Ooh, we got Chaz too. No, let me grab him here. What happened? Did I move the staging room or something on accident? I must have. I think it's on it's top. A... Yeah, it's on top of the prime room. Let me fix it here. Chaz, here, let me unmute you. All right, you're unmuted. All right, I fixed the staging room. I got us in here. All right. Yeah, you're probably right, man. Oh, here's Darth Chaz. Ready to rock. Stem nine, oh yeah. Um, yeah, man, I really think he's not moving because I think that. Uh, hold on, really quick, I need to ask Rachel something. Anyway, I I think that, yeah, he's just playing a game. He's trying to sound cult-like. The faith that you've had in me would not be unjustified. You know, he's doing his cult speech. And he's just so, trying to fuck with everybody now. Yeah, he's, he's trying to lead everybody to believe he's going to, like, launch this massive lawsuit against KJ or some crazy shit like that. Meanwhile... He's just packing his stuff up in a grocery bag, carrying it down the street to the new place. Yep. And it's that's how it is, man. And then he's going to call everybody else a LARPer and a liar and all these things. And Yeah. He tried to tell Frank I was a LARPer. <laughs> Frank called me and goes, this guy called you a LARPer. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. I'm like, I expected it, Frank. Like, I'm not like Steve, so I'm not, like, sitting there telling Frank, like, uh, Frank, this guy's gonna, you know, talk shit about me. I'm just like, yeah, let him talk shit. See how smart Frank is. See if he re Frank knew. Frank got it pretty quick. I have to say, he's pretty impressed. Problem is, <clears throat> Silverfish tries to adopt these phrases that he thinks make him sound cool when he really doesn't understand what they mean. And it just makes him sound like an idiot. Well, see, at oh, least yeah. I learned now what he tells people. But go ahead. The other day, he says about one of his <laughs> supporters, he says, oh, she's my bottom bitch sister wife. Like, do you not know what that is? Like, that's a pimp's number one girl. <laughs> like, come on, yeah. Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just trying to sound cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised he had thrown out a couple of YOLOs. <laughs> nice spawn. Not too shabby. 
Well, uh, Lauren, it's not that he doesn't have, what did you say? Steve has no original insults at all. It's not that he, he can't even deliver ones that aren't original. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna test fire this new uh, M4 I got here, so don't don't freak. Wait, I just heard someone. I swear I'm hearing someone. I got a massive grenade I'm gonna chuck right in someone's face. Oh. Exile says no killing each other, guys. That's right. Why y'all gotta six... talk about that? <laughs> 61 Ergo. 61. No, wait. Yeah. Someone's behind us. 61 Ergo. Can't be somebody behind us. I swear they're underground. Behind us. I'm gonna go check. Alright, looks clear. I'm coming up. Yo, who opened the door? Okay, somebody that closed That was Chaz. Right. Turn this up a little. Oh. There we go. That was me. I was just testing some shit. Let me see. How do I turn this fucking thing up, dude? I know there's a volume control. There it is. Apparently there's a new tweet dropped in general. Alright. I'll check her out. If you it's want from one of your favorite this. simps. Oh god, no, I don't care. I don't care about him. Astro boy? Yeah, I don't care about that that weirdo stalkery guy. You guys all safe? I'm throwing a grenade in there because I hear stuff. Here I yeah, go. Yeah, I'm on top of servers. Oh, okay. That was the wrong button. What am I dropping my mags? Oh my god. Somebody is in there. I just saw a shadow. Here I go. Perfect. Come on, get in there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really pissed me off if someone decided to talk to Exile today the way they did. They're just disgusting people, man. They're just disgusting. They just get all That's... fucking, you know, beta cuck bitch hurt whenever a woman puts them in their place. And not even over anything super important. It was the how her name was pronounced. Right? Come on now. Yeah. Are you guys running? Yeah, I'm on top of servers coming to the stage. Well, coming to the I'm under stage. Area. I'm gonna go into the new area. Oh, there he is. He's right. You don't got a grenade? Put it right in there. Put it as far as you can. Far as you can if you got one. Grenade Careful, out. There's a dude. Grenade out. BCP's grenade might have just got him, or whoever just chucked the second one. Careful, I'm gonna... Me. Okay, careful, careful. Oh, oh. That was one of them big fat fuckers, too. I think I see his body. I might be wrong. He might be up. Oh, yeah, he's up. He's up. Straight out. He just hit me hard. Don't bounce it. You bounced it. No, you didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't. It went right. I'm gonna, you didn't. No, you did good. You did good. You did. I'm closing this. This guard the door. Guard the door. I'm closing. I'm closing this uh, wound. He's way back here on the left side of the wall. Chucking another grenade at him. Good grenade. Good fucking grenade, dude. He's still alive. He's still up. He's down, I think. Yep, he's down. I got him. You got him. You got him. He's your kill. Oh, shit. He killed a dude. 
He didn't get to loot him either. Uh, when you get a break, there's another tweet drop here. There's so much loot down. From Silver Fish? Oh. What up, is he Silver Fish? Anything left on that body is all yours, guys. This is a good kill, y'all. Good kill. I got him for you, Menace. Menace yeah, died. I, I couldn't. I couldn't follow him and keep shooting because there's uh, like our guys behind him, so I was trying to shoot down at his legs, but it just wasn't enough. He got you. Yeah, it was a player scuff. Fuck. Let's uh get, carry Menace's shit out. Fucking spawn! Holy shit! Did he kill you? No, I'm still kicking. Is it just he me killed and Chaz. you? Chaz. Yeah, he just killed Chaz, bro. All right, I got all of Menace's gear. How did he spawn right beside us? There's something wrong with this game if they're gonna let somebody spawn in right behind you like that. Because I won't know if y'all are alive. If we're what? Alive. Uh, yes. Well, uh, Chaz and Menace are dead. Alright. Um, alright, I say we head for an extract. Let's... Yeah. Let's find oh my Chaz god. Shit. This is Chaz right here. Um, he's... What do you want us to try to get out for you, Chaz? Anything? Are you good? Oh my god, 150 of them just spawned. Dude, I don't know how that me and that dude danced like that. Fucker got me! Oh shit, you gotta be joking. There was one. I don't have your shit, menace. <laughs> well, that's fine.
You gotta look at the uh, tweet that was just dropping. It's hilarious. Never seen this many bodies down here ever. <laughs> Конечно, не помешало.
Опачки! <laughs> eight. Twelve followed by an eight rounder. We're down to thirty one thousand to level twenty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what's up? Thanks, Lauren. Thanks. That was a good game. I mean, it was hell. It was crazy. Those were the scabs were laughing a lot and it pissed me off. You guys good? I am. I gotta get some M855 real quick. It sucks against armor, bro. M855 sucks against armor is the only thing about it. PGF wants to know, are you, are you, are you gonna trade your Switch Live? Switch. Am I gonna? Uh, yes, I'm gonna get the OLED model because it can be network it can be t uh, put into my computer so that i can do some switch streaming it's gonna be fun af
You end up getting out with any of our gear? Uh uh. Not unless one of you guys had this fast MT helmet. Nope. But I left with like a minute left, so there's no scavs that got your shit. So you're getting back on insurance guaranteed. So the narrative being put out there is that somebody called Katie's local police and asked if any ROs had been filed and they said no, so Katie's lying. Cause, yeah, somebody, cause, cause like the police would know that. Somebody called the local, so they don't even understand that ROs are filed in the court and the local police would have nothing to do with it, number one. But number two, that's how stalkery they are and worried about it that they call and fucking check and we're not supposed to fucking consider them stalkery and creepy. Real. Well, these are the same, these are the same fuckers that call CPS and stuff like that, so of course they call them. Jesus, man. And uh, let me just re let me just recap this right fast. This is all over not liking someone on fucking YouTube. I know. Fucking YouTube. Are you ah? It's cringy, bro. <laughs> Why do you think there's these locale legends out there, man? You ever heard of the Final Fantasy House? I'm gonna have to do a video on the yeah. Final Fantasy House because it's such a good story. Well, I mean, I remember one of the first times I heard about SWAT was it came from uh, people playing video games online. Somebody yeah. was, you know, pissed somebody off online and they got a hold of their private number and called the cops on. And I'm like, this is over a game. And the dude went to prison for like a long fucking time, dude. Like 20 yeah, years. Super illegal. Yeah, no, but I mean, the thing is what these guys don't understand is what they're doing is illegal. I mean, they act like they act like people are crazy for saying that. What they're doing, no matter how much the silverfish and company try to claim that it's not illegal, it is uh, usurping or invading upon their privacy. I mean, that's just straight up. You guys ready? You want to do another factory? What do you guys want to do? I'm down for anything. Yeah, Ooh, we're in factory waiting. Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. I just got arm. I just got. Uh, Ammoed up anyway. Well, not to mention, you're going to get somebody like physically hurt, right? People get really like it gets bad when people get swatted. I had a, a buddy of mine, he uh, a couple years back, he, he did a, a good bit of live streaming and he was wasn't part of the, the, the 1A frauditor community, he just sort of criticized them and made you know commentary. On, on on their shit. Well, on like Friday nights, he would from his cell phone. He would sit in his driveway, smoke a cigar, and bullshit with with everybody, and just talk to the chat. And you know, he didn't have a huge following. Thirty or forty people would be in there at a time, and uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's not not too bad. It is. It's good. But he'd um, so he's sitting there, and we're bullshitting with him, and it's like. Oh shit, he's getting swatted. Like he was sitting in his fucking driveway and then you see the bright light on his face. He's in Texas. He, luckily he didn't have his pistol on his hip like he usually does. He just had the holster still. But like cops showed up at his house. They he, he got he ended up getting um cuz he he knew a lot of cop he knows a lot of cops down there. He ended up getting body camera footage and everything and spliced it all together from so it showed like him talking with everybody to when that call came into the station so uh, when they were dispatched and all the body camera footage and shit like that and you know luck luckily for him he was, he knew enough about the police that he was able to de-escalate things whenever they showed up on his fucking property you know if that was anybody else that could have ended up real bad it would have just been exactly. another dude shot and another person in prison and that's what these guys act like what they're doing calling the cops to ask if they, are they being serious or is that some kind of joke well it's like they believe it's like it's some part of the game like it's just a fucking game right and it's the same thing with these guys on on, on youtube are watching them they're like oh that's not that bad like i you know i dox somebody it's not that bad it's just fucking youtube no no 
idiot. It is that bad. Like, you're putting people in danger from your own people. Right outside, right side, right side, right side. Sounded like it was right out here underground. Could have misheard it. Let's go to the big room. Gilla. Sounds like Tagilla. Lauren T says you all need to go get a fucking hobby. Log off for a month and find something productive to do with their free time. This isn't her that isn't harassing them. It's true. I don't get it, man. They don't, they can't even make an argument for how they're not, you know. I keep saying it, but you, but they really can't. Okay, someone spawned above us. Just come out of gate three. Or whatever that the medical gate? The medical tent? Down. I'm coming up. I'm on top of the medical. Hey, how much are those big ass filters going for? I just found one. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Don't shoot me. Don't come. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Hi. 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 The two by two filter? No, no, no. The big one. The three by three. The big washing machines. I don't the know. They were like half a mil last year. See that thing right there? Yeah, the big giant air filter. <laughs> That's huge. Is that BCP? Okay, it is. Yeah. I hate it over here. I prefer my factory rooms. <laughs> oh, dead dude right here. You you searching? That's the guy I killed. All right, I'm not searching him. Go I'm ahead just, and search know. him up. No, go ahead and search. Uh, they're going for. He's got an ass. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Don't search him! Don't search him! My butt! My butt! My butt! Ah! He shot me. He shooting oh, I'm throwing a grenade. Don't go up that way. Big grenade out. Big grenade. That was a player. I don't know. It might have been above, so be really careful here. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, he's up above. He's up above okay. on the catwalk. Support catwalk. He just went to the, um... The train. Above servers or what? Whoa! Was that you? Who did that? That was amazing. He died. You just shot him in the face. I just watched it. Yeah, he's dead, dude. He just fell down. He was up on top of the train. He was over there. Like, he was all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get to him from here. Dude, I just watched his head flip backwards, bro. That was tight. I want to see his body. Oh my god, you got him, bro. Oh my god, what a shot. Was that a player? Is that you guys? That was me. We're good. Who killed him? I need a new ADAR. This thing's broken up, bro. Uh, right on the crane. Right, right where I thought he was. Is that a player or a scab? 
I don't know who's looting him. I don't know. What's up, man? Down below, down below. Where? I touched the bar bar. I touched the bar bar. Me, 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 me. That's you, that's how you know me. Don't shoot the purple backpack. Don't don't shoot don't shoot the blueberry. Hey, I'm a blueberry. Uh -huh. Don't shoot the blueberry. Uh -huh. I'm a uni berry. <laughs> I'm a uni berry. Come have a uni berry. They are really good. <laughs> num 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 num. The uni berries make you feel good inside. They make you tingly. Oh, They're no. like crack, but better. What? Someone just spawned. I fell, I fell between the two catwalks, and the only way is down, and it's 100 feet down. Whoa, where at? Where you at? Oh, I jumped up. I got up. I got up. Nice. I'm oh, good. nice. All right. All right. I think I heard somebody spawn. Yeah, yeah. There's scabs over there. Oh my god, if you find anything to eat, hook me up. I forgot to eat and I only got 16 fucking energy. I think they spawned underground, to be honest. Oh, careful! I was running that way. Did we lose Chaz in the uh, voice? No? No, he's... Oh. Uh, he seems to be no, here. he's here. It's push to talk acts up sometimes, to be honest. I don't know where this dude went, bro. Dude, I still can't believe you popped that dude with that one shot right in his face. That was, that was good. Solid, that's for sure. Right there. Did I just hit you? Not me. Oh, good. I'm by the pump out. Who did it? Can't tell for can tell for down below or up. What the fuck? There's more. I'm in the pump house. Damn, there used to be loot that on in here. There was, there's never any loot there anymore. There used to be. There's not anymore. Yeah, Stupid. Yeah, used to be able to find some decent shit in here. You hear that? Somebody downstairs here somewhere, I think. It's right over. If we can go straight through. There he is. They're right up here, yeah. Across the way here. Towards the medical tent. It's on the other side of the medical tent or inside, I think. That was on! He's down. Shit, they saw me. Way out there, dude. for you and he'll bring them over to you. I'm right here. Nice. On the other side of the forklift. Oh, I got disconnected. No really... way. He did. Oh, I'm gonna did. guard him. I'm gonna guard him. I don't know, dude, but I can walk right through him. 
Like, I can walk right through him. Yeah, you can. Spawn, they spawn. Got him? Yeah. Oh my god, he's got my shit, bro. My little AK I love. Oh, up by the pork truck. There's a pilgrim right here. Servers on the servers, pork truck and the servers. Okay. All right, one down. There should be one by the pork truck still. Yeah, yeah. Menace is in. Menace is in. He just took off. He's like running across the map. Grab that, grab that gun, Menace. Or grab that backpack, I mean. You're blueberry. You're a uniberry. You're a uniberry bush. It's a uniberry bush, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm real impressed with the way they sped up the uh, load-in times when you're loading back in. Uh, I like that. That's the best fix yet. Anybody need a ZV014 key? No. No, because I'm a blueberry. I'm a blueberry. Anybody needs it, it's on that body here outside of the body room. Where's Tagilla? Yeah, I guess he didn't spawn this round. I'm about ready to start shooting you guys if I don't get some kills soon. Uh, they're, they're spawning in. We just got to find them. They're here. We got seven minutes. Ooh, a nice AK-74. Brand pink and new. Dude, I just found one there last round, bro. It's tight. They're usually right here, bro. They're all hanging right here. This is like scav land. They can't, they can't do a round without like coming in here and kissing each other. I don't know. This is where the scavs hang out and kiss. It's been looted. Let's run out and back in. Uneventful round. Gate three. Let's take it. What the? Yeah. Nope. Shit. Yeah, there's two. One to the right. Oh, also. no. Come on. No. 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 I lost my big $500,000 thing because the dude was just sitting there. No. As if he got me. Did he get you? Yep. No fucking way. Yeah. Like, BCP saw them both and didn't even take a shot. Just stood there and let us die. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck bro they kiss they stand there and kiss okay hey, I I jackass god fucking damn it bro bring my adar out please somebody gonna bring my adar out <laughs> that sucked i lost my big backpack damn it jazz you still kicking i need some comms jazz Just, you're gonna have to just get out. I don't think Chaz could talk or something. I need to know if he's still kicking or not. Probably hanging out with the scavs, kissing. 
Chaz, no, Chaz is dead. Chaz, what? Shoot, shoot BCP if you're still alive, buddy. <laughs> Fuck, That's... dude, that was... Oh, my God, that round pisses me off. That sucked. That just legitimately sucked. Legitimately. Okay, I'm gonna give you something to laugh at. Look at what I dropped off. Oh. You need rock, what do you want? Your ADAR? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yes, my you ADAR, please. I just want my ADAR. You can have the rest, bro. Take that whole purple backpack full of fucking massive shit if you just give me my ADAR next round. I'll get, uh, let me get, uh, zooted up, looted and zooted here. Darth Chaz and Steve. All right, there we go. Sucks. Mm, motherfucker shooting at me. Not out yet. Some bitch with that grenade. I hope. Not scared him off. All right, where's this TT converter at? I know it's. I know, dude has it here. Come on, bro. Where is it? I just can't see it. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is, do you have it, Skier? Do you have the TT converter? Am I crazy? Yep. God. Half broke. I built a really nice little AK. All right, Uni, I got your ADAR, two mags. Okay, you got ADAR, are the mags full or are they low or what are they? You got one that's missing nine rounds. Okay. The other two right. are full. All right, so I don't need a gun then. You got my gun and you got, are you gonna bring, you got a little tack rig or something? Uh, Yeah, I can drop you a tack rig. Let me, I just need to get some Sweet. things sorted here real quick. Sweet. Well, then I'm good for this next round then. Nice. How much does that thing sell for to the traders? That big thing I had. What is it called? Just filter? The if I search FP, filter? FP100 filter. It's only going uh, for sells like for 50. 50. It yeah, goes for, for 130. For a nine spot item, it's not, uh... Yeah, it's not that good. Yeah. Well, all right then. Oh, I guess I could eat some stuff, couldn't I?
factory? You want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more factory. Oh, dude, I'm only uh, 30,000 away. I got to get another big round. Is that a buckshot? No. What do you What do you want shot. me to load this? What do you want me to load on top of this? Uh, these nine rounds on this mag for you. I don't care, bro. Anything works. I use okay, the M eight five five, so I'll take anything. And I've got those. I've got eight five six A one. Ooh, that's pretty. You want me to throw them in there? Sure. All right, I'll top it off. It'll be the mag in your gun. Nice. I'm gonna try to get an M four on the next run. Convert that bad boy into an M4. All right, we're good. Okay, let's see here. It's going to be another night before I hit... 30 dude because it's 1 a.m. and I'm all, I still got 30,000 exp Even if I had like I got a 12 kill round and then an 8 kill and they both were like 5,000 experience So I'd have to do six rounds doing that good in every round in order, you know To get it Yeah, with my averages, it's where I was at. It was gonna be like 20 to 30 rounds for me to uh, hit it Although, if you go in the bed, that'll give me time to catch up. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying like hell to hit 20 before you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you're getting me, man. You're getting there. I think we're still about dead even, honestly. We're, we're pretty close. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 37,000 away. I never go gate three. I always tell myself, just go gate four. Just go underground to get out because you're going to just, you're not going to die if you do it that way. And then I always end up running gate three and getting shot by an exit camper. Well, we got we got ambushed by a couple scavs. There was a player scav on the on the left there, and then there was one in there was one on the right in uh, one of them shipping containers that I saw. Oh my god! There's a level forty two dude named Timmy's Nightmare. Forty two? How? I mean, he must be playing nonstop Tarkov all day every day. Non-stop Tarkov, dude. He's got to. I just want this garbage with these guys to fucking end. But 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 in order for it to end, they'd have to have content to move on to, and that's why it's never going to end. It sucks. You know, Navy. Well, I mean, that's the problem, though, right? They found their content, and their content is uh, talking shit on them. And their content is attacking others and making themselves out to be these uh, things that they're not. And it's it's just pathetic. Like, these, these are literally, like, if you want to look at the aspect of what a pathetic person looks like, feel free to watch any of their stream. I don't know, man. There's no uh, way. I was Dark talking Chaz to asked if you are hearing him. We, can we are not. Him. Let me check him, but I, I, I unmuted him. Yeah, you're unmuted. It's on your side, Chaz. Uh, Menace, you want to talk about what you just dropped in general? I, uh, yeah, I was about to read it. This person asked Steve, I don't get this cult bullshit. Do they even know what a cult is and how many actual cults there is or have been? I mean, every cult leader I researched has bigger plan than trying to take down one single person like she keeps saying. Well, that's the point. That's not his only plan. Uh, but he said, like, you have to know that it goes back, like, five years with the guy. Doing the same thing everywhere he goes. Being this way everywhere he goes. Steve says, it's a LARP to very gullible people. Or else I am the lamest, most worthless cult leader of all time. See, he even admits it. He admits it. He is. 
you are an internet cult leader. It's different than a physical cult leader, but you use the same tactics, the same mental gymnastics, the same uh, methods to gain uh, obedience from the followers you have. It's why you're just willing to go lie. Like, tell us why you will not address the clips where you lie. So here's what happened on Twitter today. Earlier today, somebody dropped a clip to Steve, and it was a clip of him, and I forget what it was. Oh, no. It was in a chat last night, and they were in the chat talking to him, and they said, you did say there was no NDA, and he says, I demand you show a clip where I stated there was no NDA. So Tina, Christina, went to Augie's stream, watched it on two times speed, clicking through it until she found the exact clip of Steve stating that he did not have an NDA, screaming it, screaming that he didn't have an NDA and that I was lying about it. And she puts the link in and says, here's the link, here's the timestamp of you denying the NDA. And he blocks her. He didn't apologize. He didn't fucking say he was sorry. He blocked her. And then he, does he this on went purpose. on with he oh, went sorry, on to claim that that's not what he meant. Yeah, he went on to claim that's not what he went after blocking her. Or the other people that could see him. But that is what he meant, because it's directly what he said. So if he wants to sit and act like Christina's an evil LARPer who believes he's, he's gullible to believe he's a cult leader because she believes he said this and now he's lying about it. No, dude. You're just a liar. You're a straight-up fucking liar. Combined with what you're doing to try to brainwash these people into giving you money, attacking people for you, doing sex shit for you in these meetups, all this garbage, oh my god, run in here and give me my gun like over here. But run into the new spot, new spot. Drop me my gun over here. In the back corner. That is what makes you a cult leader. It's why you're a cult leader. You are, oh, that's good ammo. 30, 30 eagle nuts. Right, right behind you and underneath Thanks, you. Thanks, dude. You got, you got your pack rig and uh, the gun. Sweet, bro. Oh, there's my baby. Hey, how are you doing, honey? Oh, there you are. You feeling better? You feeling better after that last run, honey? Okay, good. I'm glad you're hey, feeling better, honey. Do you have consent to talk to that, that gun that way? <laughs> I, mean, I just do. Just because that gun talks to other people that way doesn't mean you can't. Yeah, yeah. The, my gun talked to talked to Steve that way, so I'm allowed to talk to my gun that way now. If you didn't know. Where's Chaz? I only see three of us. I just ran by him. All right. He's with us. He's got the peen helmet with the yellow armband. All right. I say we hold this spot. If we hold it two on one side, two on the other, we're gonna get some kills because this is the hot spot. It just takes a minute. You just kind of lure him in, and they'll come in. Give up! your pin, Son of a... Just die Keep already! Keep coming! Lay Is down this your damn! There's still... Hold your fire! Come in! Cease coward. fire! Piece of Shit. Son of a... You mother... Cease fire! <laughs> here they come, here they come, here they come. Right side, right side, my side. Get ready. Coming in now. Hold your fire! Darth Chaz says, look where I'm holding my gun. Players, players, players. You ready? <laughs> Dead. Oh, there's another one. He got me. Fuck, don't blow me up. I'm in the corner over here. Waiting for him to try to pop in on you guys. How did... I don't understand how... BCG he got died. a lucky shot right in BCG's face. Dude, smoke me right through the dome. Through the hole in the floor, in the ceiling? No, right through the doorway. The one walked up, I blasted him in his face, and the guy come up behind him, and as soon as I pulled the trigger, I got smoked. 
how come he didn't kill Chaz? Chaz is right beside you. Very true, Michael, and that's his, that's Steve's thing. He doesn't think it's evil for him to lie this much because it's plausible deniability and it's him exonerating himself and all this garbage. That's why he thinks it's okay for him to lie this much. But, I mean, it's a perfect example. He literally asked for it instead of saying, Oh, my God, I forgot that I said... <coughs> said that or I'm sorry that I was putting you down over the fact that I forgot that I said anything whatever his excuse is nope you know what he does blocks her and shit talks her and puts her down and says I didn't mean that way just lies I mean how do you interpret um Hold your I fire. don't have an NDA like how is this woman taking here he comes the way? here he comes here he comes here he comes get ready second floor He's looking down. He's looking down now. I'm gonna try to bait him in, Chaz. Get ready to open up on him. I'm gonna try to bait him in. Get ready. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. I hit him hard, but he's still up. Carefully, he might have a grenade. No way, bro. You gotta be fucking got joking. Me. I was healing. I think he got me through the hole in the ceiling. I think he went back up to the next floor and then shot me through the ceiling. Careful, there's a hole above you. You need the ceiling. Yeah. Fuck, I thought that was Chaz over there. He ran in and got Chaz and got the rest of us. Well, I got a good gun for the next run at least. That might have been that level 42 dude. It wasn't. Well, maybe it was. What was that dude's name? Wasn't it? Uh, wasn't him. I lost track of him in my in my ears. He's using BP ammo, so he been he was just like he's got the good ammo. He's got the good stuff. I probably could have held that corner when he came in, but I didn't think about it. I, I thought I might be able to flip around. I thought he'd stay in the doorway. Good fight, man. Good fight. It's not a LARP that he's a cult leader. And when he stops lying and when he stops motivating people to do the crazy shit he motivates them to do, making them believe his bullshit, when he stops that, maybe he won't be called a cult leader. But until then, that's what he is. That's what he is. All right. I know I got mags for this bad boy. There we go. I think we lost, lost our chest.
Yeah, if he comes back in staging, I'll get him in here. He says be right back. He's in staging. All right, let's do this. Wish I could uh, run a helmet, but I'm too broke, really. Everybody buys all of uh, Fence's guns, dude. How do you buy one of Fence's guns? They're all at zero. They are all at fucking zero, dude. Alright, factory again. Fuck it. I'm running PS ammo. I got the good stuff this time, so uh, we should be all good. And one of the worst parts about this whole stupid situation is that it's at the very end of this, and they are do they the reason why they're lying so much and doing all this is to hold on to what they have left. They want to hold on to it for just a little bit longer. Because the longer this goes, the more attention they get or something. I don't I don't fucking know, man. They've lost the plot because it doesn't matter if you um are if you can just deny everything in that you're right you're right you're right you're right everyone's wrong everyone's wrong that doesn't equate to you being right or them being wrong <laughs> and i'm sorry man if i could sit and watch you lie like that over and over and over again and this and the subject is a serious thing where people have to file restraining orders in order to feel safe because of the extent it's gone to online why are you still playing this game? Why aren't you taking it seriously yet? I mean, hey, bullets in here, man. You coming, Chaz? Because we'll have a five, man. Nice bullet. Now, bullets got the peen helmet and the SKS and, and the scav backpack. Hold up. Since bullets got the market, he needs to go buy a bunch of parts for us so that we can finish some gunsmith quests real quick. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't see Chaz. Have you guys seen the show Evil? Season 2 of Evil? It's actually pretty good. There's these weird fucking demons that haunt these people at night. God, Chaz is going to reboot. Alright, we'll get you in the next one, Chaz. We'll go ahead and load in. I need to watch the second season. I've seen the first season. Drunken Bull says, what do you need? I think he's talking to you, BCP. BCP needs a mag full of rubber bullets so he can stop killing us. <laughs> uh, we're looking for uh, less than lethal. So, unpopular opinion. I kind of hope that Katie doesn't serve Steve with a with an HRO. Yeah, I wanted on you that. to you know hook us up on that on your opinion on that. Well, I mean, if you look at the big picture, like she she gave him an, an RO, worked to deal with him, and then he just went off the deep end as soon as the NDA expired. So she's going to be leery on working deals with somebody else again. They're really going to have to give her something. So if she can get ROs on several other people, there's a good chance that 
one of her demands, if they want, if they want to prevent that RO from being on their record, is going to be to give up some of these other people. Yeah. And, I mean, if that's the case, it could open the door for something much more serious against Steve than an RO. So, I mean, uh, in the in the end, she's got to do what she's got to do to keep herself safe. And if the avenue for that is an RO or something else, like she's got to do what she's got to do. But by uh, by serving a bunch of other people and holding off on Steve, it might open the door for something bigger and better. Yeah, and that's that, that's a good theory. My thing about that is like the LMN, she's already pinched for like filing false reports to FBI, CPS, and all this other stuff. She's pinched for that. So you'd think that they would be already trying to like, oh fuck, here we go. You'd think they'd be trying to get LMN and offering LMN some kind of deal to have LMN give it up. They ain't fucking around right off the bat. I swear that sounded like a that sounded like a pimped out um a super shoddy. But you know who carries that. Fuck, I didn't put my, my, uh, my, uh, my little, my little, like, eye cup on this thing. Is he downstairs? Could be. I don't know Some grenades going off there. Yep, there's somebody down there. Oh, I splattered some blood all over the place. His left side, he's going around. He's going around. Watch your behind. He's coming around. He's still down there. He's down. I got him. Where? There's another. There's, there's, another, there's, there's, another, there's another. Oh, he got me. Got me too. Who is it? He's hurting. No excuse. He just shot up. He had an Alton and super armor, and like I hit him with so much PS ammo, and he still got me, bro. He had an Alton and super armor. Like, that is fucked, bro. That's fucked. 11 hits on PS ammo, 413 damage absorbed by armor, 204 to the body. How the fuck? He turns around and hits me with BP and just insta kills me. Blink, I'm dead. We didn't stand a chance. There's nothing you can do. What do you have? Level 5 armor on? Even if he did, how did he soak all that damage, man? This game is so unfair with that shit, dude. You could have five of us unloading on a dude like that. He's going to kill us all. I put a hurting on him. That's for damn sure. Oh, me too, bro. You did. Menace did. I did. And he still laid us out. He still laid us flat. I mean, I don't have shit now. I'm broke as fuck. I got a pistol and a dream, so let's do it. Maybe, maybe I can get some good mags in this Glock. I don't know. I don't like the Glock. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Shrimp. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Oh, good. I got ammo and everything for this bad boy. All right, gentlemen. I'm going to head to rack. Gonna work tomorrow. Y'all have a nice evening. Pleasure as always. All right, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Have a good one, Nate. Later, Come man. back when you can't stay so long. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game. I should have killed him and had all of his equipment, bro. That was so unfair. That was just straight unfair. Nothing we could do, bro. Literally nothing we could do in that situation. Fuck, I don't know what to bring in. At least you have stuff to bring in. Yeah, but and it's I, all I wanna, shit. I want to bring like an RFB or something. I need a successful run, y'all. Wait, I think I got some loot in here. 
You got one of them. I just don't have mags for them. Can you buy the uh, foul mags off of one of the? Yeah, players? yeah. Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper has foul mags. Hold up, man. I might have some money. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I make this work. Oh my god, only 86 thou. Is that all that is? So jacked. Who buys this manual? Peacekeeper for 15 bucks? That ain't worth carrying out, man. Okay. So, as we know, without armor, we're just sitting sitting ducks. There's just nothing we can do. So there we go, 50,000 armor right there. Go over here and grab a shit helmet. What's the good uh, foul ammo? M80 right now, but you got to go with the green if anything. Oh, I've got it. I've got a bunch of M80 laying around. Roll with that. Bug it. I don't understand how anybody can look at him and what he does and not consider him a cult leader. I think it's bullshit. I think it's his trolls talking that shit. Fuck, I wish I could buy grenades. Yeah, I know, dude. Next level. Next level up. We can buy them. Got one flashbang. Wish me luck. <laughs> I've got one. I've got one of those uh, vogs. I got one vog. All right, man. I have a pistol and a dream. I got a suit of armor though. Instead of buying a nice gun, I took a pistol. It's a nice pistol. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I should be able to put a laser on this. I don't have... I don't have a laser. Are you joking, dude? Such bullshit, bro. What a fucking bullshit run. Damn, bullets running in with one of those big mags for the uh, shoddy. Everyone check their food and water. No, oh, I'm good. At, I didn't lose anything after that run. I was only in there for four seconds. Dude, I straight stood there perfectly still. Jumped off the thing, just pouring bullets into the guy. What? How am I supposed to kill somebody? Like you literally cannot kill them. Check, it's check. just impossible. Hey, hey you there it is. Jazz back. <laughs> I am dumber than a box of rocks. You were muted. No, I changed my button. Oh. Oh man. We're in there, buddy. Dumber than a Steve McRae on Twitter, eh? <laughs> wow, See, this is are, why he doesn't those are like fighting us. words. This is why he doesn't like us, dude. Oh my god, Cultist <laughs> Priest is in the lobby. Cultist Priest, level 41. The sign. He's, he's definitely a cultist because he's level 41. We're all like under 20 and this dude's level 41. Oh, I just saw a 43 in there. 38. Does anybody have a tactical rig? Yeah, but we're already grouped up. 
We can get you one. We'll kill we'll kill a scab and let you get the first one. Here, I'll grab you. Well, I don't have one. <laughs> I was gonna I, back I, out and get you one, but I don't have one. I, I backed out. I'll, I'll grab you one. I hate myself, bro. Level 14, you sick. I mean, it's in a, uh, take the gun. I'll, I will just lag. My rig's full of nades too. I don't want to kill you, bro. We'll wait at least till you die. You want me to pop you? I don't want to pop you. You're gonna have to throw it down if you want me to do that. But I don't advise it. I don't advise it. But it's a nice gun. <laughs> okay, All right. I'm, in the lobby. I'm back in the lobby. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to influence Chaz and shit. Or, I'm sorry, Bullet. It's like... I, I really... I mean it. Alright, we'll do, Bullet. We'll do, buddy. I really mean it, though. I, I think that Steve knows that he's bullshitting us. And that we know it. And... You know... That's why he won't come talk. He could sit in here while we play Tarkov. And he could go through everything. And we could straighten it all out. And I'm sure it would take a burden off of him to know that he's not going to have to worry about getting called out by us anymore. Or having us commentate on what's going on. <laughs> I just, I can't fathom the internet. I can't fathom people on the internet, man. Like, I watch Dark Side Phil. You guys know that, like, I'll check in on Dark Side Phil. And I like him. <laughs> I know it sounds bad. And I know he's a gross kind of guy. And they call him the, uh, what do they call him? The pig. Uh, the pig, um, what's, what's he called? What's Dark Side Phil called? The pig something. Pig roach. No, something like that, right? Pig roach or some shit. <laughs> And I watch Dark Side Phil sit there and he'll just give these big narratives. And everything he's saying is just bullshit. Everybody's watching him like, shut up, bro. It's bull but that's why people watch him. People watch Dark Side Phil because he's constantly spitting bullshit and everybody's looking at him like, listen to this shit. He lost thousands of dollars per month. He lost his Twitch partnership. And he lost it? Rumoredly. The rumor for why he lost it is because he doxed one of his followers inside of his Discord server. Okay? So he doxes him in the Discord server. People go and let Twitch know. And they take his fucking Twitch partnership. So it's like... Darkseid Phil has the same kind of first world problems that all these other locales have. And... Wait, he... He, he didn't lose his, his partnership for... Pounding off some knuckle children in the middle, right? Well, right no. before his stream. No, no. And the reason is, is because all you can see is his face. That's that's the only reason. Because all you can see is his face. Wow. Oh my god, bro. Hey, whoa. Oh shit. Hey, there's somebody some uh, gear. Hold on. Coming back in. Who needs this uh, rig? That rig's for Darth Chaz. Right here, Chaz, grab that rig. It's a level 4 armor rig. And, uh, Bullet, bro, you rock. You're too good to me, bro. You're too good to me, Bullet. Oh my god, it's full of AP-20. Holy shit, Kabibble, dude. Oh my god, I have so many nades. It's, I'm, it's, it's, it's not even funny, bro, how many nades I have right now. Only problem is I need a backpack to reload this bad boy, but we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Oh, who's that out there? Who the fuck's out there? Who's out there? Guys, guys, you gotta tell me where you're at. Somebody's menace. out there. It's not menace, but Somebody's I coming. Right Somebody's here. coming. Fuck it, I'm blowing uh, him up. Left. He went left. A grenade out over there. Just telling you. 
I don't want to kill you. I got another few. Okay, vlogging it out. Vlogging it out. Right there. I see him. I see him. He's right there. He's right there. Bullet, let me kill someone so you can... Fuck, what was that? That was me. I was shooting out that light that was making noise. Oh. Okay, there's Bullet. Bullet's running around over there. Oh! He went up the second floor. Who is that guy right there? Is that Menace? Menace. Menace. Oh, you're, you've been running around over here? Okay, my bad. I'm like, who is hey, running around over there? There's, there's scabs over there. There's second shit going floor? Off, going off in the second and third floor. I know, but Bullet ran up there. So I don't want to kill Bullet. Unless he's already dead. Bullet, if you're alive, run out here. Just run out. We won't shoot Somebody's you if you run. Somebody's around the office area. I know, I want to put a grenade up there, but I'm afraid it's bullet. Bullet! Dodge this grenade, bro! Oh, it bounced, it bounced, it bounced! It bounced! Bullet. It's bullet. He DC'd. Going into office. I'm going into office. Going up the steps. You guys this running around? Is this one of ours? Who's wearing a ball cap? None of us. Kill that guy. He just ran by us and went right in that room. <laughs> I knew I heard someone. He's dead now. Oh, that was Bullet! Menace, why'd you tell me to kill Bullet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that was that was not count. That does not count. Damn it. That does not count. <laughs> God damn it. Uni City, DC. <laughs> he did. He was down there, DC, bro. Oh fuck! I'm sorry, Bullet. Where's he at? Is he at back? That was Uni's fault. <laughs> That's a They're really back. poor level of command, Uni. Oh, he's got a backpack. <laughs> I know, nice. Oh right. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Oh fuck! I'm sorry, Bullet. Now at least I can reload this bad boy. Okay. All right, let's find these scavs and fuck them up. Ready? Mo let's move uh, move on each other here. Let's all stick together. There's four of us, right? Where's Menace at? I'm, I'm at the end of the hall with you guys. Oh, so we're missing Chaz? We're Chaz went the other way, I guess. Chaz, where I you just at? don't want to kill him. Nah, just looting the scav. All right. Here I come. Somebody went out gate three already. Oh. oh, down by the servers. Did we get him? I swear he's dead, but he might still be up. I put a bullet on him, AP-20 slug. Someone's below us coming up. He's dead, he's dead. Got him. Looks like that guy's dead down there. 
Yeah, there's two oh, of them. Oh, yeah, done. Sorry, bullet. He, he was lagging in and out anyway. Fuck, he's level 21? Holy shit. He's yeah, putting bro. in the work. He's hardcore. It was the other night he was level 20. Someone's over here. Bathroom, bathroom. On second floor uni with in the bathroom? No. Okay, I'm going up to second floor. Scav. Scav on me. Where are you? Are you in the room under the bathrooms? Or are you over there uh, in the I'm factory? down, yeah, downstairs in factory, like out in the open here. I'm in the uh, where the jackets are. It's found an AK. Really nice AK full of BP ammo, actually. Scav's over here, so we gotta gotta keep an eye on each other. We're uh, we're all over by the tent, by the uh, medical tent. tent. I'm coming. All right, I'm running to you. I'm coming up. I am running up. I am running up. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Ready? Here I am. Damn, I've I see, I see it. I'm coming up, I'm coming up. Over here, scab. Uh, who's that guy? Shoot him. Right side. Bring that case in so we can drop it off for my quest. I still have to do the uh, panels, fix the control panels. Oh shit! You need to do that uh, times already. Nice shotgun right here, dude. You need the um, toolkits? No, I got lots of toolkits. All right. Yeah, me too. I had to buy a third scav junk box. I got so much shit. Aren't you guys rich? I wonder what those things sell for. I'm about to sell mine. I'm so broke. Third one. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? Down below, sure. I think. He's out there. Uh, in the glass. Oh no. I think I got him down. I'm not sure though. Another one, you need another one. It's a player. Player scab, be careful. Who's coming up on us? I'm fixing to come through a door. That's you, that's you, that's Chaz. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Okay, Chaz is with us. So that other guy's still Somebody, up. Dude's there coming, he is. dude's coming, dude's coming. Got him. Nice. Oh, yeah. Smoke that. Smoke that ass.
I'm Someone's checking on the, the other side. Dropped. Yeah, 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 that's me. I'm, I'm checking the body I dropped. It. Anyone needs an azimuth, it's over here. He's coming up. It's me. Oh, Mosin Infantry right here, dude. Mosin Infantry. Hardcore. Oh, I'm taking the backpack, sorry. He's from? in the door we just came from, right where we just came out of. In that room where the forklifts are. Yeah, yeah. I'll Careful, get him from careful. the left side here. I'm holding the door, I'm holding the door. From the right. I got the middle door. He got me. What? Drop him. Little bitch. Yeah, he's dead. That sucks. Grab Menace's gear and let's get out. We got an exit right below us. We'll come back. Menace, what do you want? Anything in particular? Uh, I don't think I really had anything good. Just a shotgun. I don't want to have to buy another rail for it and sight and everything else. Hey, I'll bring it. Did you find that AKM? Oh, yeah, that's a scav AKM. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it's got. I only grabbed it because it's got uh, one of the Bastion dust covers. You can put a sight on it. Like, you can't take them off in raid, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty junky. You got ammo for, uh, for the shotgun, yeah? Damn, look at all the band-aids. One's coming in. One's coming I'm opening in. The, I'm opening the gate. You're right outside the door. Right. Gate's open. You coming? Yeah, I'm out. Found an exit. Time for extract. Found an exit. Time to extract. Time to get out. It's good to go. I don't even remember what it's like to have the flea market. It's been so long. <laughs> I don't even know what it's like, bro. 4,000 experience, four kills. I like it. I got 3,000. Not 26, too bad. 000, Considering 26, one was that headshot on bullet. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bullet. They told me to shoot you. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Oh, so does that TK go to uni? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I'll take it. It's my <laughs> fault. I'll take it. It's definitely not Menace's fault. <laughs> That's for sure. Not this time. Menace ain't killing shit this th tonight. At least I got a bunch of freaking heals out of that run. That's it. That's the one good thing here. Man, you need me to throw some shit in the attack rig for you or no? Who, me? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I need anything. All right. Just need the gun, right? Yep. All right. I'm gonna wear that red face guard. It's a lot easier to see me that way. Shit, I had the wrong button, dude. I 
should be saving stuff up for when I unlock <laughs> the shit, but I haven't been, so okay. I got some loot, I guess. Damn, these M1s repair really well. Alright. Alright. Let's see here. Okay. I know it sounds crazy, but no, nah, fuck it. I'll use this shoddy. I'm not even gonna. T I'm not even gonna worry about this. Well, I kind of need a piss backup pistol to be honest. Oh well, fuck it. All right, let's do this. In the lobby. Oh, man. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, the highest dude's at level 27 in this lobby. So if we can get in there, yeah. Oh, there's a 32. Uh-oh. I see a 34. Yep. These dudes got to just be doing nothing but playing constant Tarkov. What do you do? Bring a shotgun with you just in case you want to get some extra kills and shit? In case you got to switch over? No, that's Menace's shotgun. Oh, hell yeah. I can't wait for this all to be over. It's been fizzling for what? Since the NDA expired, it's been over a week now. This all has to fizzle out soon. I like wearing this shirt in Tarkov because that's the exact shirt I had in the military. That's like what my uniform looked like. I wish we could put patches on it. Be tight. The Velcro. There are a lot of people that do that. I never understood how anybody hits the max level in a game two or three days after launch, says Lauren. Oh, they got to be like no sleep. Just bam, 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 bam. It's kind of obsessive, but I mean. To each his own, right? Especially if you're a streamer, though, it's it makes sense. People like Pestily, Landmark, and these streamers, they go in and they just get kill after kill after kill after kill. And they get so much experience from every run that they just zoom in levels. Well, you figure it's their job, so they're putting at least 40 hours a week in on it. Oh, yeah. Next time I go live to talk about something, though, I'm not pulling up the live chat till I'm done talking. So there won't be any interference. <laughs> no interference. I'm just going to talk. That's what I do. I'm that weird live streamer that talks a lot. Fuck, here we go. I need a gun. Oh, fucking right you do. Good call. All right. I'm holding the hall. It doesn't seem like anybody's down there. Yeah, we're good. Hall's clear. You bring your tool set to do this, uh...
No, I didn't bring it. I'm like a dummy. I wish I could put a laser on this fucking thing, dude. Wow, this gun is so awesome. Alright, I'm about to jump out here. That's a pistol, that's a pistol. Shitty pistol. I'm up on the other side of the pump house, looking around. This way. I swear I hear him down here. Wrong way. Right. We're going to come out down by a medical tent. Somebody way back behind us down by forklift. I'm gonna run in. Who's running? Who's running? Oh. Something sounds funky. Hearing something. Dude, where is Tagilla? I could kill Tagilla so fast with this gun. So many pellets. I think the PMC's already got into it and died or something. You guys talking? Was that you? Those men. That's it. Okay. There is no loot over here. It's like it's been hit. It's too quiet, bro. You're up in the office, I guarantee it. Dead guy right here, dude. Dead guy. Where at? He hadn't even been looted. That was a pistol right here. He only got a couple shots off and he died. Somebody show me this hole that you guys were talking about the other round. Right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. It's a hole that's up right to there. the bathroom. So you can see up to the oh, bathroom. No shit. Here. You can also you fall right down, down here. Alright. That's new. I ain't never seen that one.
think the dude left or something. Or else he's up there. He's he's gonna be up there. Just hiding. He's just gonna be hiding somewhere, dude. What? Laying in wait. I'm gonna go through the uh, the bathrooms. I'm heading down by the offices. Right behind you. I don't like this. Up. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Dead scav that's been looted here. Telling he's in the office. Oh, I got one dead in the hallway. Or the stairwell on this side. Fuck. He's been ah. looted. Footsteps. Okay, I just searched it. This has been completely looted out. I think Chaz was uh, coming up. Who's on, who's on the right other here. side of the factory? There's footsteps out here somewhere. I'm coming up the stairs by the hole in the wall. Oh, I just saw somebody by the big round cylinders down in the bottom. In the there he is. Bottom That's puddles. him. That's him. Who's in the office? Me, me. Alright. I'm going down towards uh, Death Hallway. I'll take a peeky peek. There's someone in the tunnels. I don't know if it's a scab or a PMC. Right, scab. What was that? It's a scab. He's down by that fork truck right under the office. Right by the doorway we came in on. Chuck a grenade out. Uh oh, I got Shit. flashed. He's coming up in steps. You wanna shoot whoever's coming up the back way? Who is it? Back way. Death hallway. Who is it? Are you guys on death hallway? I'm in death hallway. Oh, I just almost killed you. You guys alive? Everybody good? I'm in the hall office. I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding out. I'm in the office. In the office. I gotta fix myself. Oh, what a nightmare. Is it a scav or what? Yeah, yeah. Sca scav in front of stage on the ground floor. I'm guarding. Don't come out. Oh my god, I almost killed whoever that is, dude. Oh fuck. It's Chaz. Oof. I had to stop the team kill. Expedition. You got you need heals, no, minutes. Are you good? No, I'm good. So he was in what now? In front of the office there? In front of the stage on the ground floor. And he fucked you up that bad? Oh yeah, two arms, two legs, all black goat. I got flashed, right? So I, I was moving around on the catwalk out there trying to stay alive while he was blasting me. The flash fucked you up. Yep. I, I put it right at that dude. asshole's feet. Well, that was you that flashed me? Uh, apparently. Yeah, I threw that. That's all I had. I threw it right at his feet, hoping to fuck him up so that one of you guys could hit him. You got a scav out here somewhere. I'm right behind you. I'm down the stairs here. Is that the Sounds like Tagella. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, let's go up top. We'll go we'll shoot him down from up top. Yeah, where's he at? He's on the other side, medical tent area. Is that you guys running around the catwalk? I'm on yep, the catwalk. I'm, on the, I'm, I'm on the catwalk. I'm up here too. I'm looking for this dude. Oh. One down. Okay, that's him. Oh, that's you? That was me. 
I smoked the scare that I was uh, looking to kill. That. You guys alright? I'm going through the bathroom. I'm going yeah, through the bathroom. I just a Coming out by gate three. Alright, you guys are over there, right? This is me, this is me. Yeah, this is me on the opposite of you. I'm still by the office. Anybody over by the bathrooms? No, but a scab just spawned right behind me. Yep, I heard him. Who's that? Menace is running. I swear I just put him down. I swear I just put him down. Yep, he's down. Killed by a scab loot. No. Yep, right in front of gate three. Just a crappy scab with a shitty shoddy, though. That was you that just died over there? Yep, right in front of gate. Oh, it was a player scav. Alright, I'm right here at Death Hallway. Which way do I go? We're up top. Me and BCP are up top over here. Fuck. Z, you just run past me, Chaz? No. Where are you at, man? Were you oh, on the catwalk? Yeah. Okay. There's a scab right, right below us somewhere. Keep an eye out. He just ran over to the right. Yeah, he just oh, yeah, he's in the... <laughs> He's dead now. Good, good. There's another, there's another. Dead dude down there. You guys go down to the floor. I'm underneath. You're on the main floor of the factory? I'm underneath. I'm like down in the tunnels. I'm sitting here right next to the pump house down below. Alright, I'm on top I'm of about the pump to, house. I'm about to look for Tagilla over here because I know there's someone over here. Alright, over by the medical gate. I'm by medical gate. I'm clearing it. I know there's a fucking scab over here. Oh, yeah. He's down. Come on, dude. I don't have a bleed. Are you joking? This M80 is sweet. It's hardcore. Ooh. Fucking shooting at me from. Fuck. What? You got away from me. I don't have a gun. Loaded. Ah, Chaz, he's out here somewhere. I'm thinking back to the right. Not to the right. Walker disappeared somewhere. Well, he could only have gone left. 
I'm over here. Don't kill me. I'm coming out of the medical tent. All right, we're on the opposite side of the room. Ooh. Where's he at? He's on top. On top of the Coming pump. up. I'm coming here. I'm coming around. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead now. I got you covered. I'm. Mean, this is me. This is me. All right. Oh shit! He fucking smoked you. Bring out Chaz. Anything? I don't even remember what gun I had on me. Probably one of my uh, Saigas, right? Saigas. Yeah. You want me to bring it out? I want that sight off if that Saiga real quick. Alright, Uni, we got three minutes left. Let's head for a gate. Let's more. see if I can grab Menace's stuff from gate three. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't go into too geared, I just had a broken up shotgun and some fucking hot arm and stuff. So I don't need none of the trouble. I don't think I got a kill. I might have got a kill, I don't know. Someone's coming. Uh, I no, you definitely got a kill. So I watched you smoke some dude. Oh, I got a couple, that's right. That buckshot from far. Is it my fault? Is bullets my fault? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I've only got 24,000 EXP left to get the day. Oh my god. That's so That's so few. That's so little. That is so little. I got 30 to go. Well, that's one of my eight R's gone. Okay, any splints? I need painkillers. Am I had a good painkillers? Because that requires a woods run to get good painkillers. What do you mean by good painkillers? You know, like the really good kind. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, Vaseline, Golden Star. You get those free at the woods. You just go grab them. They're everywhere. I can bring you an Ibuprofen if you need one. No, it's all good, bro. Alright. I didn't want to bring it anyway. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I kind of want it. <laughs> I kind of do want it now. Now that you put it that way, I think I want it. All right, boys, if I go down, make sure you grab my gun because I got the mutant loaded with BP. Ooh. Ooh. No BCP is going to team kill me. I will not do that. <laughs> I'd promise it, but I can't, Dude, I can't promise it. <laughs> these big bullets, these big OFC bullets used to be worth like... 120,000 and they're down to 35. Just Sucks. just wait until just wait until everybody's got the market back. It'll get better. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Uh, what do I got? M62s, M61s and M80s. I am not taking any of those <laughs> into this round.
complete. All I need is Tria's dog tag, and I got a set for us. <laughs> Alright, I got one more in me, y'all. Let's see if we can do this. Fuck it, dude. I'm gonna take this Glock. This Glock is fucking pimping. I want a, this pimped out Glock, dude. Chaz, you got you got a Reagan mags for this gun, right? Negative, sir. I do not. I have to sit this one out anyhow. We get it, Chaz. I don't want to play with them either, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I got Quake Maker. What am I doing? Forgot I have access to Quake Maker, man. Alright, 33 be 67. I need 67 Quake Maker. Alright, so now I can unload that bad boy, and unload that bad boy, put that in there, that should fit there, that should fit there, that should fit there, perfect, bam. Damn it. On the plus side, I can do some scav runs again. Let's do this, dude. Last round for me. Hold on. Extra food and water, right? Oh, fuck. I'm so glad you said that, bro. I knew there was a reason. I knew there was a reason you let me hang around. That's right. Fuck, dude. I know I can put something on the bottom of this. What is it? It's that Glock thing, isn't it? What the fuck? It... Whoa! Oh, come on, no. Fuck you. The Glock. Is there a Glock, uh... Someone sells the Glock, uh... Flashlight, don't they? Uh, yeah, I just saw one. Mechanic. Yep, I was just gonna say that. Man, this mutant with 762 has 54 vertical recoil. Oof. Jesus. I mean, it's hard to get an AK below 80. Come on, tell me this. It does. Oh my god, dude, I got it on there. I got my fucking flashlight on. Nice. Nice. Pimped out. Pimped out Glock. Let's go. Wait a minute. What the fuck does that say? 281 vertical recoil on a Glock? What? Did any of them sell the Glock, like, handles and shit? Any of the recoil mitigation? I don't think they do. Uh, not at, not, not this at early this in the game. I could put a sight on my Glock, though. Oh, I'm not passing this up. If I'm gonna pimp this Glock out... Oh, uh, fuck, this has a slot. It won't let me do it. Okay, I can't do it with this. All right. All right, let's see what ammo I got here. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, boy, let's do it. Big sticks in a silenced Glockity. Let's just hope I don't run into Tagilla. <laughs> hey, bullet's coming. Last run of the night. Let's do it. Is that a mutant? That's a mutant? Oh my god, that thing looks yep. awesome. Oh my god, that thing looks awesome. I'm in. 
Uh, did Chaz say he's sitting in the house? Chaz, you coming? <laughs> Chaz, are you coming? Chaz. Chaz! We'll go ahead and start, I think. I gotta go to bed. Let me search for him one more time here. And we're gone. That's a silenced mutant, dude. Oh my god, bro. All right, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna get flooded with scabs like we used to. Remember that BCP? We'd kill like 20 each. And I'm gonna get enough experience to get level 20. Oh, and we used to be able to just chill down in the tunnels and... Stack they would just run it. They would just walk in one after the other, after the other, after the other, and there'd be an entire stack of bodies. I mean, that was those were the days. Oh man, those were the days back whenever we were playing with Bino and uh, Ray yeah. Beef. Yeah, yeah, Bino and Ray Beef. That sucks. It's almost like losing Ray Beef caused Bino to lose hope. <laughs> you, you know, Ray Beef could come play. Ray Beef could come play. I'd rather oh, you're good, Chaz. Though. Well, I just don't like the drama, man. They, they can, they're the ones that sit there and act like they fucking hate drama. They're the ones that cause the damn drama. You know? I, did he not expect me to defend myself in any way when he's sitting there literally so mad at me that he's lying about me everywhere? You know? Attacking me and lying about me everywhere. If he wants to make fun of me and go back and forth, that's fine. I'm down. But don't go out and lie about me everywhere and, and shit. And talk shit. It sucks. I just didn't like the way he played. We loaded well, him by them forklifts, and he's right at those right at those jackets. Fuck well, all it's because of us. he was it's because he was trolling us at the end, man. It sucks. It sucks that they, the dumb drama like this get, like this gets in the way. It shouldn't. We're supposed to be above that shit. That's why I talk to people when they want to talk to me, even if we're fighting or there's some issue, because I don't want the drama. I'm trying to be above that damn drama. Oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, oh. baby. Look at this. Here. Enemy out there. Enemy right out in front there. of us. Right in front of us. What do you got for me? You're, that ibuprofen you wanted. Throw it down. I'll grab it. Right there. Tell me when it's dropped. Right there. Right in front of me. What? I don't know where you're at. Where you I'm at? The, oh, I'm in the room still. Oh, fuck. Right there. Thanks, dude. I don't know where that guy went, but he was running towards the forklift. He fucking disappeared, bro. <laughs> like, he just straight disappeared, this dude. He's gotta be standing right there. Okay, he's gone. And he's gone. This Glock flashlight is awesome, dude. Like, there's a reason it costs 16k. It's awesome. This dude is silent and... Silent but deadly. Oh, oh. Fuck. Where's Minnesota? Is there someone on the servers? I'm at the bottom of the steps here beside yes. the server. Oh, sounds like I don't... sounds like there's someone up there. Yeah, there is. There's someone on servers. Player? Anyone got a grenade? We got a flash banger. Get Throw it, it get up it. on servers. Ricochet. Go get him, boys. You, you still alive, Uni? Yes, he's dead. Word. And I got a badass shoddy off this dude with Poliva slugs. Who's running from where we spawned? None of Someone's us. Someone's over by where we spawned. Careful, it might be bullet. On the other side of the blue bin. Like in the movie. I got flashed. I got flashed. I, I'm fuck? dead. Where were you? I was right at the bottom of the stairs there by uh, servers. I got two shots on him and he got me. What?
I don't yeah, know where he came nothing. from. His name's Rogue. And I got 23,000. 23,000 to go. He hit me in the arm with shrapnel tin and it killed me. An arm shot. Oh, Fully he's by me. the stage. Yeah, he's on the servers. Shrapnel tin shot. Boink. Just dead. Those shotguns well. are so unfair, dude. They, they, they are literally like limb killers. They hit you in the limb and you die. There's no, he, you hit me with, he hit me with BPGZH. Oh, so he, he hit you with my mutant then. Oh, I bet he did. Well, he, that he hit me point blank. I had a 75 round mag on her too. Yeah, he hit me point blank too. I should have known when he flashed you that he had the... What they do is they put a flash in and then two shrapnel bullets. Because that, that shotgun can only take three bullets. Stream. Oh, those are the flash bullets. Thanks for bullets. watching. Yep. I'm out of you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm getting to bed. Night, guys. Stream, thank you. I'm going to bed, and I appreciate you very much. Let's all hope toward a resolution. Let's hope toward it. Let's focus it. Let's will it in. Lolcow, good to see you. Lauren, Rattle, everybody, appreciate you very much. That's right. You know it. We'll be back. I'll be uploading tomorrow. Hopefully, this is the end of this garbage. Hopefully, it's the end. Good night.